Alright, it's time for a little bit more Elden Ring. Hopefully this one should not be a situation where I have to deal with things shutting down, but we'll see what happens. It's fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So in that case we got... Let's pick up from where we left off. It's quiet. It's not silent, but it's quiet. Okay, so we're still in Jarburg, actually. So I guess the question is, if I go back to Gale Tunnel real quickly, chat with Alexander, see whether it'll actually progress any of the quest line. We'll see. Whether it will get Jar Baron to have any new dialogue or a vessel. Okay. Here to small, rate my chances, okay. Let's go back to... Oh, but right, I can't teleport out of here. It is kind of annoying that... Block the teleports off. Even by the Sights of Grace in dungeons. As long as you're under right, you can't teleport out, which is... Kind of a silly way to do things. It is what it is. Big idea is Let's see if he has anything new to say. Oh, nice! There we go. Message appraised. So, does our little jar friend have anything new to say to us? Hello. I'll come back here again. Okay, part of being a warrior, so we need to, I guess, this quest more some other way first, but. With that actually, let's go back to the Ansel River well. Got a bit of that to deal with. Just see something. go through down here. The big thing is that... Oh, and I don't need this. That's right. Before I mess that up, we should probably put Scar Seal back on, honestly. But, hmm. Spells I've got equipped. Instead of... Eh, I'll keep Black Flame on. This is a decent setup. The big thing is that Giant ants. I should want to. Hmm. Hard to say. Oh, hi! How are you doing? Hajime Mashtenshi. We are going about down here. So these giant ants are all very weak to fire. So I'm gonna want to deal with them then, I suppose. Oh, nice. More message appraised. But why can't I target that one over there? Well, whatever. Oh, well, sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you don't have to put up with that again. But the ants are weak to fire, not to bludgeoning, not to anything else, just fire. Okay, either way, we will continue. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay, well, as long as you're happy about that. Hmm. We'll keep on... Tossing fire at the ants. Oh, wow. That's exciting. How many more... Ants? Okay. Is that... I can't even target that one. This is the thing. Maybe if I aim up really, really high. Yeah, there we go. So it probably would have dropped down to ambush me. Let's drink this flask up. Oh, I should have done that before. Cat photo shoot. I hope the cat understood and appreciated it. Grace mimics no point to that. Poor adult cats curling up to a little rat. It's... The only things other than rats that you can describe as rat-like are humans. Describing animals as other animals just doesn't work. You can call people rats, you can call rats rats. But if you call non-rat animals rats, it just 
confuses me in such to such a profound degree. Maybe maybe I'm just not with it. Probably. This is magic grease. And can I Okay, I can't use my horse in here, which means this waterfall is impassable. Enemy behind. Bright spot ahead. Probably talking about Oh wait, is there a there's an ant up there. Excuse me? Well, alright. And we know that Italian moms are always right about everything. That one did not drop down on me. Alright. Go on. Be possessive of this wild Italian cat. Okay. So interestingly enough, there's going to be another one of those dragon kid soldiers down here. But the funny thing is that it's actually going to be weaker. Than the one I fought before. Interesting. Understandable. So. Toss this. There we go. Keep on killing these giant ants. Well, it's... Continuing to explore around Lyurnia to try to clear it out. Don't think I'm going to be able to get to the dungeon today, but... Oh, goodness. All right. And, cool. Good old fire. Hmm. So a fully charged black flame is an insta-kill if they don't notice me, but only if they don't notice me. I guess. I dead end ahead, therefore try to run. So if it's a dead end, presumably I'll be able to kill another ant. Nice. And I... Bob this. That did not connect. Sad. Will this connect? It will not connect. Okay. And... Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, that will... It won't kill. That's sad. Alright, so just... Mm, really? Okay. Annoying. I need... More Cerulean Tears. Hmm. Smithing Stone 3. That's nice. Yep, it's a dead end. Worry of death, I guess, if you... Oh my, what? Another... Okay, alright. Fun. How did more ants show up here? That makes no sense. Okay, cool. Here? Okay. Huh. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't just happen. I don't even... Where could they have even come from? Did they dig their way up from underground? Makes no sense. Okay. Die. Uh, honestly, just using... The, the sword might be better if I... Do it from... Can't do it from range. It... It is what it is. It's not my problem, really. Thanks. So the fire followed up by the... Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright. And, oh my, okay, huh? Weird, annoying, and, mm. What? How did that, okay? Annoying, again, and, okay. Die already. Okay, well, we got a couple of flasks back at least. Hmm. But they resist slash, and they... They're weak to bludgeoning, but they're weakest, weakest to fire. That's what... What is this red stuff? Zumbly ant-related. I don't know. Well, I guess they're man-eating ants. Silver fireflies and... Okay, these are larger than human size. Interesting. Well, that... Whiffed. Okay, cool. Oh, I should've used. Starlight first. Hmm. Lovely place. Then, a golden rune. Over here is presumably more ants. Just check. Let's crouch down. Just to make sure. I, hmm. I know that there is a dragon king soldier. Through here eventually is the thing. But it's still a ways off. Hmm. 
Black Flame isn't doing all that much. Because the percentile effect does not really affect... Okay. Smithing Stone, three. It's good to have. A group ahead. Good luck, praise the Tarnished. Worry of group. Ha. Huh. Worry of trap. Maybe this is not the way to be going. Worry of ambush. Yeah, I'm kind of running low. I would probably prefer to go around the other way. We'll see. Then hopefully find a side of grace and be able to loop back around. I'm big thing is just I still don't have the map. That is a little confusing. A little annoying. It's clearly a one of those ancient nameless cities here. Well, not nameless. This this would be Noxtala, but. Smithing stone, shatter shard arrow, that resonating noise so that can be used to distract and lure enemies. A little, I. There's probably a bit of cross pollination there. Hmm. So then, down that way is that? It's not where I've been previously. I don't think. So how am I going to work my way down without dying? Joy ahead. Still, what? Oh, because it's a headless statue. Try jumping? No, I don't think I will. Okay, there's a set of grace right here. That's good. This should be good for me then. I can just go back the other way and try to take those ants down. This is Ansel River Sluice Gate. Okay. Huh. Down this way, that would. Presumably I could survive, but rather not chance it. Let's keep on moving. The big thing is that in theory I could actually get to the sort of ledge that I can't reach in Lyrnia right now, but without going to Altus Plateau. But it would require me to fail some other quest lines, so I'm gonna wait a bit. At the very least, miss a bit when I know I could choose to not miss it instead. Honestly, Flame of Frenzy might be a bit better than Black Flame, depending on whether and how I can actually sneak up on these ants. Alright. But a fully charged Black Flame is a one hit kill, and that is not to be traveled with. So, what is my. Is it plus five? Oh, Hajime Mashtenchi Kozu, how are you doing? We are just exploring the Ansel River Well area, which is a big underground quasi, partially a city area. It's cool. Oh, wow. Driving? Either way, it's good to see you again. Hope you're having fun. Okay, so maybe if I just hit them. Mm, we gotta see what we can hit. And that worked. Kinda. Okay. Ish. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. Alright. Mm hmm. That hit. They're in the big server. Okay. Oh, goodness. Alright. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright. Boom. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, I think... Our favorite Italian is pretty easy to find. Okay. Oh, and what is this big thing? Follow up. This isn't so bad, but I... Mm. Oh, come on. What? Pretty easy to find in the server. Understandable. Don't hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. Oh, wow. Are you bad with cold temperatures? Be nice to yourself. Okay. So let's just... I... Maybe I'll just go for uncharged black flames. Fair. I guess being cold is not good, but I handle it better than heat. Well, there you go. 
Uh oh. Is this gonna be a favorite season thing? Or is this gonna be more point scoring? I'm worried. Uh oh. Okay. I... I'm curious as to what the question was going to be. Hmm. Yeah, getting more smithing stones was good. Thank you, thank you. Have fun, don't worry about us. So there's ants in the... Hmm. Question is, where and how they'll drop down. And that did kill. That's good. How can I make sure it doesn't see me? That works. Toss this up. And there we are. Cool. And another. That did not hit. Didn't connect at all. And boom. Swing. Need more tears. And toss. And follow up. Oh, well, alright. Great. Thanks. Hit. Follow up. Cool. It. I feel like a real spell sword like this. Honestly. So that seems to be a, an ant queen of some sort? Maybe. Yeah, what is this? It's gonna drop something good, I hope? That. Oh, just bursts. Alright. Oh, a golden rune 10 and a rune arc. Okay. I'll take that. Rune 10. Grace of gold bless those who are first to serve it with the most vivid coloration. Could this be a plump sword? Probably. Anything up here? Presumably not. High road, oh high road. That actually kind of reminds me of the undead dragon in Dark Souls 1 in the Valley of Drakes, where you could get up on a wedge and... Avoid it almost entirely and just lob fire at something there. I I wonder what the question is. I'm curious and maybe a little worried. Are the Ool Palace ruins down here around the Oh, does this just link around the Sluice Gate as well? Or that's interesting. Clearly there's something over here. Oh my goodness. Praise the Smithing stone four, okay. Huh. Oh, and something down here. Let's see what this is. This is Oh, a celestial duo for Deagroing NPCs who get mad at me. Absolution of the Church of Vows, hidden tier in the Eternal City, known as a knight tier. Absolution, Church of Vows, reversing all antagonizations. It's upon a time, the stars in the night sky guided fate. This is a recollection of those times. Interesting. Well, I need to go down and slam those guys. Yeah, so let's switch out to Radagon real quick. Well, the big question is, does it involve or implicate me in any way? Is that determine that determines the amount I should be concerned? Hmm. Oh goodness, it's kind of worrying. Maybe I'll just run over. Because the big thing is that I really want to have Sacred Blade on this thing in order to fight the Clayman. And don't have it right now. Let's pull this lever down, and I can't escape at the moment through teleportation. Okay. Well, as long as it doesn't provoke further conflict. Oh. Okay. I think that just increases the amount of difference of opinion there. It is what it is. Maybe to you. It's subjective. So let's put another Ash of War on this thing. Then we can put on our... Well, there you go. Congratulations. Italians and people who are currently in LA. That's your demographic. Oh, but I should right. level up again. Topolino. What, what does that have to do with anything? 
I'm confused. So the Ool Palace Ruins, and I think these Quaymen are actually going to be weaker than the Quaymen we fought before. Let's get a bit more HP. Yeah, that's good. Oh, well... You, you could have named him anything. The name, the name quite literally proves nothing. The fact that you probably believe in nominative determinism kind of worries me, actually. It's, it's not on the level of phrenology, but it is kind of a questionable belief. Or, or physiognomy. So... Really is just a big old piece of wood. Yeah, we brute strength to swing about. Gotta love it. Okay, but what, what does that have to do with giving up or persisting? Oh, goodness. I, all right. Thank you. I, mm, there are lots of these guys here. Okay. One, two. Oh, but a tossing. Tossing bubbles? Oh, no, these are... Boluses. Oh, that's quite strange. Huh. Okay. Weird. That. Hmm. And. Alright. Oh, goodness. Okay, I. Oh, okay. Hmm. Don't really have any good holy AoEs. Yeah. Hopefully. Not. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well, they're the clay men from before. Hmm. Maybe I just want to continue using the Holy Bo Sacred Blade on them until we get a good amount of them down. This is really, really weird, actually. Because I just don't have a good way to take them down. They have really, really high... Boys. So I can't really knock them out of their attacks, but... Huh. This is really quite weird. Okay. Huh. One. Two. Oh, well, that kind of worked, but I... Wow. If I had... But I won't be able to get an actual good holy damage spell until I get all the way to Altus. Golden Rune. Nothing there. Hmm. Well, we can... That did not work either. Okay. Slam. So a jump attack will deal enough stagger to knock them out of an attack, but that is basically it. Ah. Huh. Okay. Cool. Slam. And... Get knocked back so much, though, that actually makes it harder to deal with them. One, two... Hmm. This is really quite something. Not in a good way at all. Hmm. One, two. Okay. Hmm. Well, we got some of these back, but I slam and hmm. Can really only afford to go for jumping heavy attacks. Hmm. Oh, all right. Let's keep eliminating individual dudes here, I guess. Huh, okay. Just keep kind of sniping with that and hope that it works. Hmm, okay. And can I slam again? Well, not if that doesn't actually hit. Cool. Hmm. Top. Uh, anything over this way, or it does not seem like it? I'm losing my mind. So you're over here. We can try this again, maybe? The dagger ones are actually more trouble than the spear ones 
so the rolling attack they do, and actually the fact that they get knocked back, makes it very difficult to try to actually combo them down. And can we? Actually, if I just jump forward right afterwards, kind of works. Hmm. Get some starlight in here. Yeah, these guys really are just relentless. Or the big thing is that the poise is quite high, which means that the typical strategy I have of getting relatively easy staggers is not as reliable here as I would like it to be. Okay, cool, and just slam that down again, but the two-handed jumping attack still decently work. Because they kind of move slowly, but irrevocably. I can see that. Now you just have to hit them until they stop moving. There's nothing, no other real way to strategize around it. I can see that. It It is interesting that we don't have a lot of... There's not a lot of lore on the Claymen other than they look for oracles of the future using their bubble powers. We don't know anything else about them, really. And, hmm, okay. Alright, ooh, okay. Hmm, mm hmm. Uh. I, I would say it's less of a loom over and more of a lurch towards, and yes, the distinction does matter. Kinda wish you could actually get their daggers. Pretty cool. Hmm. Alright. Let's just slam. And another. There we go. Cool. Hmm. Heal up real quick while we have the chance. Poke around a bit over here. There's probably going to be at least one other item in the area. And. Oh, what is this? What is this? Hello? Worry of stomach. Huh? Try running, by the way, seek up. What does that mean? I'm worried. And I- Oh! Oh! That's a- Oh! Okay. One of those... Estelles. Okay. Well, baby Estelle. Eventually... It's basically a- An insect from space. And... That's basically the pupa form. The larva form is... An enemy in some other areas, and I actually tried fighting one a couple of times when I streamed this on my mage build. That one time? Okay, I guess that's okay. But... That's sort of the pupa form, and the full form, or I guess the imago, would be... The Estelle Stars of Darkness, or Estelle Natural Born of the Void enemy. That we're going to encounter later, a bit later in the game. There's one at the end of the Lake of Rot, which is an area that I want to get to sooner or later. But, okay, oh, we got Formic Rocks here, and these aren't useful for much. Okay, but what it does imply is that Formic Acid is what the ants spit, which is what... And it's also spit in real life, so. Mm, not here in Short Seeker Right. Oh, so, because I suppose this would put you in prime nuking range for the Estelle. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Go ahead, and there. Gravity type enemies, so gravity abilities would work. Wanders against them. They're very weak to anything physical damage. So I'm probably going to. The issue is that I still have holy affinity on this thing. Probably gonna want to use the Bloodhound's thing against it once I actually get in range, but we'll see. And they don't respawn, which is nice. If I can manage to get up and kill that thing, it won't come back. It's all about getting in a space where I can block off its attacks. 
then I'll be able to explore this place a bit more freely. And come on, come on. I, all right. And okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Cool. Not really. So is there a? Can I catch myself out over here? And basically, this is essentially a safe spot. So in that case. Hmm. Deal slightly more physical damage. That's the important thing here, dealing physical. That's good. I'm just gonna take this hammer to it. Okay. And this should be a decent spot, but oh can I not actually what a jumping attack get it? Let me see. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice. So if we just keep on... Oh, well, at least it doesn't do all that much damage. Oh, okay, nice. Slam. And. Slam. And. Slam. Oh, well, not if we miss. That's right. And, okay. Hmm. Get in here and... Another hit. There we go, it's dead. Now we can explore this place with a relative degree of freedom. Cool. Now that that's out of the way... Hmm... Let me pass here. Revenge. Let's get our Starlight back on. Yeah. Anything past here, or try projectile weapon. Or just hitting it with a hammer with enough reach. Defensible spot. So what was... I guess the real point of it was just getting it out of the way so you could explore without having to deal with it shooting at you. Yeah. Either way, that thing should not respawn, I believe. Oh, but the only way out of here now is to drop down. Drop back down, probably through here. Okay. Should be a couple more clay men around, but shouldn't be too much trouble. Should be able to fight them more or less one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, there's a merchant here. Okay. Map Ansel River. There we go. It was right there. Okay. Ansel River and environments. Two great well, rivers flow beneath the lands between the Seafort and the Ansel. Great civilizations flourished before the Erd Tree. There we go. And Ooh, palace of ruins. This kind of that does kind of like around this way. There was the dead end, the well, and. Oh, it links back, and yeah, you can get to the other side of the waterfall some other way, but... Hmm. Interesting. In the end, there is a city. One of the eternal cities. Noxtella, but... Can't really get there yet. I think... Oh, but the Seafra River... Mark does not quite appear there yet, presumably because I haven't found all of the map? Maybe. And so Sifra is kind of connected to Kaelid. There's nothing specifically below Limgrave, I suppose, except for, I guess, Nokron would be in that Ansel is below Lyurnia. question is how they would mark the Lake of Rot, if it would even get a separate marker. Hmm. So yeah, we gotta work our way around. Right our way through, but there's a merchant here. Customer, customer well, how long has it been? Hermit merchant, gravity stone fan, don't need that perfumer's cookbook for an acid spray mist. To pray perfumer, no ordinary physician would attempt. So you can use that with formic rocks. And celestial do, I don't need that. I guess I could put that. Don't need these, don't need those. For once watched, appalling club, every fiber is filthy. Torment the wearer. Fermenting hatred within her heart or a spiritual fervor near indistinguishable. Smell is beyond belief. Fell frost and stimulating boluses, anti sleep and anti frostbite. Some utter scarcity. Okay, cool. But everything except clothes that I wouldn't be wearing anyway, so we're good. Hmm. So in that case, hopefully there should be another grace nearby that I can take make use of. But, continuing to poke through and find items is also... Oh, more 
and smithing stones, so it is good that we went down here. To create Ashes of War. To plus nine, and I could level some things now. This finger seal is still going to be my best option for casting incants. At least for now. In the end, once I get to Altus, I'm going to switch to Golden Order Seal and never look back because it scales with intelligence too, except for weapon buffs only use your for sorcery buffs only you it only uses your the intelligence scaling, whatever casting tool you're using, and for Oh goodness. For incantation buffs, it only uses the faith portion of scaling. But hmm. even still, I feel like Golden Order Seal might still have better buff potential. We'll see. But if I go over here and just go for a big ol' hit. That was good. Okay. One, two. Oh, but the buff is off. Okay. Whatever. Got some of that back, which is good. Mm, but there are a lot of these guys down here, is the thing. Hmm. One of those guys seems to have already died. Simply it was- oh, well, that isn't accurate. I thought it was just gone, but maybe got hit by the Estelle in another state, but that was not true in the slightest. Just- oh, another bubble. Hit by the Estelle with one of its rock attacks, but that was not what happened. Okay, cool. Oh, alright. Thanks. Slam. Mm -mm. This is... yeah. Weirdly tough. Okay. Mm -mm. Can I slam that down again, or... how can I... okay. Oh, goodness. Harpoon is interesting, but... Can't really make great use of it with what I have right now. Thank you. Go over, slam again, and... Mm. Can I? There we go. Cool. Mm -mm. Alright then. Shield Grease. That's interesting. Guarding ability and damage negation. Match with resident materials. Guarding ability forms of damage negation. Lasts only for a short time, and that could be useful. Maybe. Golden Rune. Alright. Then we charge that up all the way. These fully charged heavy attacks are actually very capable. Hmm. Checked out. Good. Let's just hope that they... Hmm. How is this one going to exp... Okay. Did explode eventually. That's good. Then. Slam. Slam. And slam. Good stuff. What else? Got you over here, but we need to get our starlight back. Okay. It is better than having to take out a torch just to see, and the light is about as good. Maybe even better. The one downside, I suppose, is that it is blue. And that can be kind of weird sometimes. Not not that I have anything against the color blue in the aggregate, but it's different. Throwing daggers and a full calling finger remedy. I let me just check something. I wonder check my core temperature. Hmm. I The core temps are weirdly high. I might have to turn up. This fan still isn't as loud as the big one was. Hopefully this will still help. Hmm. It's weird. Guess the question is whether the issue is air intake or air outflow. I think it might be air outflow. The purifier is nice, but I guess the question is... Uh, 
I honestly might have to go and look inside my computer to see if the fan is working. Because there's a non-zero chance that the fan might have sort of jostled itself loose. It's possible. I'm not sure. Hmm. Because that would explain why the cooling potential is not as good as it was last year. Because last year I didn't have problem with cra problems with crashes. It's possible that the fan might have worn itself out. But I feel like it's more of a possibility that it just... The computer has kind of fallen down at times, and uh, not fallen down, but it's possible that the fan might have jostled itself loose, and that would explain maybe why the cooling isn't as good, that it can't spin as well because it doesn't have as consistent power supply, maybe. I really don't know. Okay. For now, I'm going to just turn the fan up and see if it does anything. It might... The big thing is that I might need to put it behind the computer. Putting it behind the computer worked decently well. Because I think some of the issue might be that heat is kind of pooling in the area behind the computer, below the desk, and it might be preventing heat dissipation. Because if you can blow air in, you can blow air, air in all you like, but if the air is not getting out, you're not going to really get the cooling working. That's a thing. It... It's a bit of a conundrum. Hmm. <laughs> Holes in what? My bed? My bed is right behind the computer. For a number of reasons. It... The issue is, is that... I know you're not a physics person, but... Unless you blow air, it's not going to move around all that much. It's that way for a reason. I... There, there are only two outlets in my room. It's a very old house. Which is why things are the way they are. Because everything is oriented around there only being two outlets. You are. It's okay that you are, but you definitely are. Okay. Anything behind here? And... Mm. Okay, alright. Thanks. Go for another jump. Mm. Slam. Slam. And anything else over here? Well, we got a bit back. Alright, well. Fair enough. As long as it doesn't bother you... Same difference, I guess. Oh, but to get over that way, right, I'd have to approach on the other side. And but I can't use my horse in here. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to go in and sweep up a bunch of dust eventually. At least so much this is doing. I I don't know. I don't know. Let's check my. Benchmarks. Core, is core temp going down at least? It... It's gone down a little. I honestly... I'm gonna move around some things real quick. And see if having the fan blow from the side works any better. I'll just see real quick. Hmm. I pull my core temperature marker back up first. Back up, benchmarks back up. Mm. Gotta shuffle some things around. Be quick. 
big things. I gotta move the desk over a little. Okay. Fit the fan in. Up. Let's move a little more, I think. Hmm. Uh, should be all right. Mm -hmm. Let's move this over and see. Well, the rope side is it will probably be a bit harder here on the bike, but let's just see. Move this over. To, mm, that's tough. Wait, what? Huh? That's strange. I, oh. Garbage again. So far, I can move this stupid thing. I. Good God. So just let me put a look inside and see if the fan inside is even spinning. That's honestly the big question. <laughs> the fan isn't spinning. I know what's going wrong. Finally opened up the PC. It was in a really inconvenient place to look, is the thing. Okay. Let's see if it's even spinning. Is it even spinning? Let me see. Yeah, the fan's spinning. Just, they're both spinning. spinning. Huh. I... I feel like I might need to invest in better cooling solutions. But I was concerned about whether the fan was even actually spinning. Because if the fan wasn't inside wasn't spinning, it would explain why. There might be some issues with cooling, but it does not seem to be the case. Oh, okay. Maybe I should just clean up dust from inside. That might have something to do with it. It has gotten some dust filtering into it from above. It's just, you know, old house. Room with poor ventilation. Recipe for a lot of dust. Especially when there's a grating. Top of the case. But try putting it behind them and see if it makes a difference. Okay. Time to show the kit. No, it was! The fan was spinning. So it does not seem like that was the issue. So that might be an issue with thermal paste. But that would take powering it off in order to check inside and, you know, just see how the thermal paste might have sort of degraded over time. This thermal paste is basically, it's not glue, but it's a substance that helps heat transfer out. And you stick it on the main processor chip and hopefully it keeps it from overheating. And it does sort of wear down over time. So I might, replacing my thermal paste might make a difference. And that wouldn't be too involved of a process, but it's just not the kind of thing that I, I'm really in a position to check right now. 
because it would require, you know, turning everything off, opening it all up. I'm just going to see if putting the fan behind the computer on the side makes it work better. Hopefully it'll be the one magic bullet I needed, but I'm not going to hope for anything too outlandish. Come on, come on. Just blow the air out the other, good God. I, I don't dislike it, I think. A lot of the problems with the PC are really more problems with the house I live in. <laughs> to be totally honest with you. Okay. Hopefully that will... Yeah, I don't think it was an intake problem as much as an outflow problem. And hopefully the fan will be able to mitigate a good deal of that issue. Okay, I gotta move my stuff over a little now to compensate for having moved the desk over a bit, but farther from the wall. It feels a bit more claustrophobic now, but you know, the things I do for not love, but I don't even know. Okay. Okay. Huh? Well, because I had to move, I had to move the desk over in order to make way for the fan placement. That's what, that's what changed. Okay. It's, I get a bit more natural light this way, actually. I don't hate that. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Let's hope it's worth it. I, hmm. Hmm. So pretty high core load, but it's probably just a summer issue. It's the ambient temperatures being an issue. It is. Somebody had better fall me soon, so that goes away. Okay. Keep on going. Keep on going. My starlight back up. And there we go. Cool. And then hmm, go back through here, not drop down preemptively. This it's an interesting spot. So will this let me get through to the other side or big thing is there was a drop down over this way. Hello there, hi. Thank you. Oh, well. All right. Nothing stone. I think I would ban you for botting. Hmm. Then how many? Oh, multiple over there? I Wait, how? It's confusing. I think I would just... You would probably get banned for botting. That shamelessly? You're setting yourself up. How many? There we go, and now I just need to go back around. Yes, and they can track your IP. If you were gonna go out of your way to start a harassment campaign like that, I would have ways to deal with it. Hmm. It. I really can't tell. I do think. Because one of those cores is getting. 
pretty high. And hopefully this should still help, but I think there's a good chance that it is a question of just reapplying thermal paste. For you to make a harassment campaign against me? I agree, it would be horrible. Can't believe you would do such a thing. Well, I can, but... Hmm. Let's keep on checking up here. Anything over this way, and... Hmm. Oh, there was something over here. You really are the... the mascot of special pleading, huh? Well, being a hater is harassment, so... I would advise you not to... I would advise you to look before you leave. Yes, insisting that rules don't apply to you. And that you should get to do whatever you want freely. Well, it's, it's called a coping strategy. You might be familiar. Hmm. There is... Is there any more around here, or...? Come on. Hmm. Slam. Slam. Anything else, or... Get down there is the question. Yeah. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you, then? Yeah. Well... There are more of those than I might like. Hmm. Then how do I... If I wanted to get down here... Is the thing... How do I... Hmm. If I go through here, is there anything? No. No. Hmm. So the only pathway through is that one other side. For being the only hater... I think, for being a hater, you get exactly the amount of appreciation you deserve, which would be zero. So, let's keep on looking. Water in Italy? Or, oh, is in the water, the water in this game, okay. It is nice. It's probably part of why my PC, PC is getting a bit of, bit of a load on it, okay. Oh, and here's another set of brains. Nice. What? What? Okay, for a second I was kind of confused. Okay. That said, I... I've learned to stop asking questions about things at this point. At least some things. Oh, and oh, more ants. This is just great. Hmm. So then, no, there's going to be a Dragon King soldier here somewhere. The question is where? Go for the America Scar Seal then. I don't know. That's why I was confused. Tell me a break. Okay. All right. Toss. Thank you. Another few more. Gotta sneak up on these ants. This is an anti-ant stealth mission. Thank you. Mm, oh my, okay. Alright. Thanks. Mm, this work? It? I guess they just can't see me. Okay, cool. Mm, an ant anti. And I... Maybe I should be taken out back and shot. Mm -hmm. What else is here? We have... Oh, hello, well. As long as I stay far away enough, you're not going to detect me. That's good. Okay, well, we beat a group there, as evidenced by... We gotta recast Starlight. Flask I just got back. Hmm... Is there anything over this way, or... There's some glove wart. Ghost glove wart. And then... Ghost glove wart. Smithing stone. 
Immunizing Horn Charm, Formic Rock. Horn Charm raises immunity, worn, accoutrement worn by the Ancestral Followers, raises immunity, a budding horn. Horns belong with beasts continue to build butter-like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an Ancestral Spirit. Crystal Dorts. Beautiful, or beautiful, be wary of a left. Wary of a left, and... Presumably it's just gonna be another ant. Let's see, what is that thing? No, really. What? Oh, these are basilisks. Okay. Oh, they're death blight basilisks. Okay. Fun. What do I want to do with them? Probably bloodhounds. Okay. Oh, but immunizing horn charm would actually work pretty well against them because of the. Mmm, death blight stuff. Okay. So that's an insta kill ailment, kind of like curse is, and. Souls. Well, Souls 1 and Souls 2. Souls 3. And Souls 2, it just increases your hollowing. Great. Seems familiar, yeah. Oh, hello there. And yeah, they just. They're just like the Basilisk in other Souls games. It's the thing, and oh my, okay. Hmm, let's stay out of the way of that. Thanks, and oh my, oh my goodness, okay. Come on, alright. Come on. Oh, please. Hate Deathlight so much. And, and we need another hit. Okay. So is this going to be a way into Lake of Rot? It honestly looks like it. Formic Rock and... Hmm. Formic Rock. Oh, they're high. One. Two. So. Fair enough. And then, and then, and then. Alien Butterfly and... Somber Smithing Stone 3. So we can just get more of those rotten butterflies, but... Okay, we can't actually go down into the Lake of Rot yet. This is a way to just see it from earlier, kind of like... The parts in Tomb of the Giants that show you Lost Isolith and... Ash Lake. Okay, cool. So I will get there later. Much later. Cool. That was fun. We got a smithing stone for a trouble, I suppose. That doesn't even make sense. Hmm. Yeah, it... We can go a little into the Lake of Rot area, but we can't actually reach any of it. Because that drop is not survivable. Hmm. That's where I came from. That's where I'm going. Okay. Fun. Anything else? Or... Well, alright. Got... Attack and require to head, and therefore behold skeleton. Oh wow, there was actually a skeleton inside that coffin. That's pretty cool. I guess. Downstream. Hmm. So then what else? What else is around here? A steak of America. Melted mushroom. Opportunity ahead. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Well, alright. We can keep on moving. Boss ahead, so probably the Dragon Soldier of Nuxtal. Presumably. Oh, and yeah, that would be a... Presumably we wouldn't be able to get up to the upper half this way, so this would be locked up behind further progression in other areas. Squawport. Yeah. Beyond here should be. I need to spare ahead. Okay. Let's get Blood Flint and Blade on our. Ooh, funky. Yeah, this is definitely. It's a boss arena for sure. Fear. Okay. Cool. And we. Oh, probably want to use. Rata seal. That's good. Maybe physic flask? Oh, I should have done that before, but whatever. So this one is actually going to be weaker 
than the other Dragon King soldier enemies. The other one I fought before, which is funny. And, oh, okay. Oh, alright. Fun. Hmm. Okay. Dodge. And, can we... Dodge. Oh, come on. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Can I... Slam. Or not. What in the... Okay. Cool. Ish. Dodge. And, can I... Slam. Uh, oh, please. You're, you're kidding. Okay, cool. Alright. At least they don't have nearly as much. Uh, still really tough to hit is the thing. Mm -mm, but this one is actually... Oh, come on. Dodge! Dodge! And, mm -hmm. Okay. Slam and dodge. Okay. It's just... Hitting this guy is weirdly tough. I actually despise it. And can I... Okay. And... Oh, right. But use ice lightning. Right. Okay. Big frostbite build up. And just... Okay. Cool. Fun. Dodge. Mmm. One heck of a graphical effect. Can I... Mmm. Can I... Slam. And... Dodge. Can I... Slam. Okay, cool. Mm. Eventually, a reward for this fight will actually be the spell it uses, which is cool. Kinda. I'd say. And can I... Slash. One more end. Kill. There we go, cool. Nice. Alright. There we go, Frozen Lightning Spear. First try. Okay, so what else is past this? Ice Lightning Spear from above, and that is more faith than I can bring to muster right now. Cool. Okay, channels the power of the Dragonkin Soldiers. Spear of Ice Lightning stabs it into the ground from above. Spirit will burst into trails of lightning, advancing forward. So Dragon King were born in the Eternal City, where they knew no true sky, no true lightning, and said Ice Lightning was their weapon. Alright. Can't use the horse in here. Fun. But, right, right, we gotta use our other casting tool for that. The lengthy nature of the casting with animation is true pain and suffering. We're down here. Cannot survive that. Put yourself behind, wire ahead. So, get down there. Need a teleport, right? Oh, there's a. What's in this chest? Something golden, and that's... Oh, okay. Great ghost glove board for renowned ashes. Spirit nest is close to this grand specimen. Wild fart rings and catacombs. Ashes of Blast 10. Large glove boards comfort heroic spirits. For a bit of those who die the most glorious of deaths. Hopes their stories would become legend. Well, if I use spirit ashes, then that would be quite nice, unfortunately. Get down there. They're... Mmm, I think... The teleport that will lead me up to here will put me down there, presumably, but that will take a way gate and a way gate a bit later, too. Well, Alright, there we go. That's all done. Now I can keep actually exploring the rest of Lyrinia. Hmm. These guys look a bit like the messengers from Bloodborne. Hmm. I feel like putting down a whoops familiar. Whoops it. Fear. Let's try that. Inventory. Tools. Wizen finger. Use. Tablets. Mm -mm. Let's see. Whoops familiar. Phrases. There is. Looks familiar. Concepts. Situations. No, no, no. There is. Looks familiar. Concepts, phrases. Hmm. Seems. Okay, it just seems familiar. Not looks familiar, seems familiar. Okay. 
Phrases seem familiar, yeah, cool. Still look a bit like the Bloodborne Messengers. Like I said. There's that big old giant over there. Oh, we got some more Night Sky over here too, oh, cool. Hmm. Let us simply... Activate this, and this is... Hmm. Yep, okay, just Dragon King Soldier, Nook Stella. Ansel River downstream. Hmm. Alright. Mm hmm. Let's see. Down, airflow, e sync. Let me see. Fix settings. Hmm. Let me see. I'll just check actually is my graphics options. Sync. Sure, actually, cool. Fix quality, and then V-Sync is not, huh, maximum, mm. we're just gonna do that then. That said, doing it Windows is necessary, but it might also be messing with a bit of the performance. I don't know. Well, we... Killed that Dragon King soldier, and there's nothing really to do here right now until I can actually get up to the top here. So, hmm. all right. In that case, I guess. Oh, but now they show me the Ansel River. No, no, that it was Seafruit that wasn't being shown. So weird. In that case, I guess just go north here now. After that minor urgery? Maybe. Big question is, could I figure out a way to use Giant's Flame? I mean, Flame of the Fell God against... Ugh! Against that urgery avatar up here. I think I could, and it would be funny. Number of things down this way, and there's the elevator over to... The start of... Hmm. -mm. There's the elevator that leads me to the Altus Plateau. I think this is the cave that lets you get, there, get up there a different way. And, oh wow. I turned on auto-detect best rendering settings and it pretty much instantly fixed a number of things. I think I can probably afford to turn the fan down a little. Okay, cool. I really need to play around more with my rendering settings. Sake of things like this, but did pretty well. I think we can. Big thing is there's a tower over here, and this is going to be the Black Knife Catacombs, I believe. Wait, what? What are you... Huh? Who? I'm just confused. Okay. Just see something real quick. Kozu. Thermal. Replace thermal base. And... Once every few years, CPU temperature is climbing. Hmm. Hmm. Take off the heat sink. It was definitely just an issue with graphic settings. Oh goodness. So I'm being bullied from 
a distance. This is insane. I might have to implement some punitive measures. We'll see. Oh my goodness. They, they, they don't even know how tall I am. They're right entirely by accident. Ooh, okay. One, two. All right. There you go. Enjoy. So the question is then, where are my smithing stones? So I don't have a four smithing stone, so I can't level up. Can't level up my bloodhound spinning any further right now, which is kind of sad. Okay. Yeah. Did they just clock me as spiritually short somehow? Oh, but also... What, then I'm going to take punitive measures? Go ahead. They should know. Okay. Right, I can get another level up, so... Let's actually just take my dex up a little. And that will boost the damage of bloodhounds ever so slightly. Hmm. It's, if I want to use... Well, for one, actually, I don't have a rune equipped... It's not even used to equip a great rune. That's just... Maybe it's in key items. Wait, how do I actually... Presumably I have to do it in memory slots, maybe? Let's see, memorize... Oh, it's gray runes right here. Have the have power restored. Rune arc, even, give even better benefits. Equipped gray runes, well, it... You don't get any benefit unless you use a rune arc, so... There's no benefit unless you use... The great rune, I mean, the rune arc to activate it, but. Big thing is, I get five to all attributes without rune arc up, which is actually quite nice, but. Don't have that many to use, is the thing. So, my thought is. My thought is. Let me think. The big idea is, it takes 41 faith to use. Flame of the Fell God. Touching grass, how? For one faith to use Flame of the Fell God. This would give me 10 more faith. And then a rune arc plus the effect of... This weapon would give me... Because the strength tier would allow me to use it with a vengeance, which would boost it by 5 further. So that and a rune arc would be... 41, which would be enough to use Flame of the Fell God. The question is, would that be worth it? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Hmm. So, then... Probably take that off. Take... Put in... Flame of the Fell God, and it would be... Silly, but... Could figure out how to use it once I get over to that Urge Re Avatar. If it's something I want to do, which I guess it will be. Maybe. Are you not? Oh, but you... who is... huh? Just a randomly dead thorn sorcerer? Okay. Probably because of the bears. Presumably. Okay. Alright. And... One, two... Okay. One... And the bear actually gets staggered. That's fun. Hmm. So in that case... Let's see what else is around this way. Were they at least edible flowers? Because I know that there are some herbal teas you can make with flowers, but... That... Given how you've talked about eating paper and mercury and glass before... Yeah, you're, you're less of a grass enjoyer and more of a glass enjoyer from what I've heard. Okay, that's good. Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself too much. Ideally, don't do it at all, but at least don't, don't exceed your capacity. Hmm. I think some of it is just that the graphical requirements of Elden Ring might have gone up with the release of the DLC. I did mention something to that extent. It's just...
This should be... Mm, I'll stick to high, just... I don't need maximum. But I can see that, and I don't like it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we gotta go back to title menu to... Apply some of those changes. What flower? Come on. Come on. Okay. Can we have one more? If I'm lucky, hopefully, this might be a little bit better in terms of load. I. Hmm. So, I was thinking this looked a bit different. That's probably because of the lack of a light. See what? Oh, I did customize some things. So, Vance. Hmm, the texture quality. Well, I we'll see how how this is for performance. Well, you know, I guess if you wash it off first. And the answer to your question is probably animals. So. Hmm. What else and where this is? Oh, more root resin. Okay. So then, for here and then, hmm. I, uh, this is tough. Might be, I feel like checking what <clears throat> most, Texture quality and that's the big thing. Motion blur off. Honestly. Hmm. Let me just think. What is performance? Hmm. I'm detect stable ray tracing. Is ray tracing on or? Let's just see. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you don't have a piss sink. Sitting any lower performance in visual. Keep this on high. Hmm. Can go to medium. Explore. Do not increase performance. Lighting high. Reflection. Low or maximum. Huh. Okay. Metric. Service quality. Performance. Shader quality. Set that to medium. Okay. A foliage grass quality can be. Oh, okay. Motion board depth of field. Do not impact. Okay, cool. If this works, it works. Let's just try that again. Hmm. Uh, the anti piss sink. Understandable. Well, it's not, it's not a piss sink, because a piss sink would be a sink for piss. An anti-piss sink would be a sink to wash it off. I think. I'm not exactly an expert. You'd have to ask someone more qualified. Okay. Hmm. So then, oh, and, oh, right, these are the ruins with the ancestral followers, so. I... Mm. This does look a little funkier, is the thing. Not. Might be a shadow issue. I think it's a shadow issue. Let me just see. This is weird and tough. Yeah. Okay. A turtle, you. Huh? 
turtle what? Wait, but what does that have to do with sinks? That's my question for you. Was it was it using your crocs and your feet as the sink? Is that what I'm intended to believe? Well, I think... I think the turtle didn't want to be picked up. I think that was the issue there. Maybe. Oh, but right, I checked around here, but... Palace ruins over this way. There are going to be some walking mausoleums, but... Big deal is the old, not the old palace, but the old palace. It... Huh? H how can the turtle look like a sink? I... I'm confused. I feel like this is the kind of thing that would require some degree of illustration. Maybe. Maybe. There's something coming, but... Maybe I'll just go off to the catacombs now. Maybe. Hmm. This... What will this say? Oh my goodness. Dog ahead. So are they talking about a bear then, or what? Let's just star light it up. And oh, there's a rune bear. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let me just... Crouch. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. You have got to be kidding. Thanks. Okay, I... Oh, please. How do I want to... Mmm. This does not work hardly at all. Okay. Slut. Wait, what? Huh? Okay. Can I... Jump. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, well, I... Okay. Fair enough. I feel like our meanings of sync are a bit... Divorce. Come on. Okay. I... All right. Jump. What? What? Well, it's a good thing I didn't use a rune arc there, but even still, that's insane. What in the... Okay. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that would be more accurate and more parsable. I appreciate the concessions you made for the sake of being understandable. Hmm. Let's just go over here then. Back. Get my rune stain. Hopefully not die to that rune bear again. We'll see. Hmm. Continue moving and... Right, because that doesn't have arc arcane scaling at base, so... Let's check Reduvia, actually, see if that... Blood loss. Yep, the blood loss buildup is slightly scaled with my arcane. Very, very slightly. Well... I... Cannot say the same for myself, so... Thank you for compromising. And here is our boon stain, right? Where is... Okay. Where is the bear? Weird is subjective. Weird is very, very subjective. Actually, let's reapply the buff, honestly. A slightly increased faith. Okay. Let's take this guy down. Oh, there, and okay. Alright. Cool. One. And cannot. Do Ooh, okay. Mm -mm. Can I slam, dodge, jump, and oh, there we go. We already got stance damage built up. And one, two, good, thanks. All right, and dodge. Can I one? Oh, and we actually got a bit of blood loss on there too. Nice. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, but I don't have a good spell to use right now as a thing. So die. Finally, dead bear. It. These guys are crazy. I... It's in an old clip. The answer is short. Like you said. That's knowledge that 
You can share if you like, because you know. I'm going to put that in your hands. You're the bearer without forbidden knowledge. Okay. Come on, come on. Please, please, please. Oh my gonna. You've got to be kidding. One seventy. That's more or less right. Oh no, it's no, no, no. I think a little bit more. It depends on shoes. It's like I don't know. Sun like I guess on average you would say five seven maybe. It. It's been a while since I last bothered checking. Okay. Can I, oh, and another dragonfly. It dies easily. Come on. Can I? Well, that's only a centimeter of difference. An inch of difference is a bit more. A little bit more. At least, I think it- oh! Oh, we got a- one of those knights over here. Cool. Oh, I should have kept Electrify Armament on. Well, whatever. I'll live. Let's put Blood Flame Blade on this thing and take out this Mausoleum Knight real quick. About what? The difference between meters and- oh wait, how do you have a- Death Blight on you? Oh, right, we need more of this. Okay, cool. You've got your impaling- what? Okay. Funky. Don't like that. I mm -mm. Okay, cool. Alright, and... Where are you? Okay, cool, I guess. It Thanks. Oh, use a guard counter. And... Are these guys even staggerable? I can't tell. Alright, dad. Hmm. So sometimes they'll drop their armor. Oh, but it was glowing, but it wasn't a spirit in the standard sense, because it didn't just disappear on death. Weird. Okay. Hmm. Crystal bud. And just can't... Oh. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Small, angry, emo, I think. Yeah, understandable. Well, I... I don't think that was ever... something in dispute. Oh, the beast eye quivers, which means there's death root here. Exciting. Holy required ahead. So, the big thing is, is that Bloodhound Spang would be pretty good against the Black Knife Assassin. And the question is, the Black Knife Assassin is weak to... Knife Assassin... Bloodhound... Blood Flame Blade is always pretty safe, but... Yeah, then I'll go with fire. I'll stick with fire. But... I'd say Electrify Armament might be fine, but... Well, what we have right now is good anyway. Keep on moving. Hmm. Oh, well I need... I gotta get that club back on. Yeah, this should be... Holy required ahead, because of these guys, so... I should have paid attention to the message. Alright. Question is, are there... This weird shimmering effect. I... Huh. I think that might have to do with... Shadows. Let me just check. I... <sighs> hmm. It's weird. Shadow quality. Turn that back that way. And... You know, we've still got... It's weird shim... No, we don't. No, no, we do. Let's check to see what might be causing that. I... That's really, really strange. Well, everyone should be more emo. Let's see, Elden Ring. Graphics for performance. So what is causing this weird shimmering deal? Jagged edges, shadows quality. Huh. I, you know, I guess we'll just deal with it for the sake of performance. But I, 
No, this is really weird. I'm gonna try to reset that. Neither do I. It's it's a mindset. It's a way of life. It's an evaluative evaluation. Emo gloves. What about the gloves makes them particularly emo? Huh. Oh, elbow. Elbow? Elbow gloves? Striped. So the kind of arm warmers, I guess. Guess. Honestly, I've still never really figured out a consistent way to decide the difference between emo and scene. But I'm pretty sure that's kind of a scene thing, too. I took so long to get that done. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep, this weird shimmering texture glitch. Oh, Roses is Axe. That's a good one. So the intelligence deals magic damage. And I think some Frostbite, too. Let's check that out. Roses is Axe. Roses is Summons. Okay, no Frostbite, but... Usher of Death of Roses. Path to the Catacombs. So other lands between... Oh, the... so that's the statue guy. This ritual Axe. Dead easily lose their way. I've always been in sore need of a guiding hand. Some of those the lost in death appear at a distance, attacking tandem before disappearing, and that's just a death spell of it. Oh, what is this guy? Oh well. Alright, well, you're dead. I think aesthetically that's the big difference, but I don't think it's just aesthetics. Well, we got guillotines here. How exciting. Oh my ooh, oh my goodness. Those arrows are doing really, really good damage. That is worrying. Okay. I okay, come on. Can I slap Oh my goodness. I okay, cool, and what in the Okay, alright. Weird and uh Strange. Okay. Spellproof dry deliver. And then we can mm, keep on rolling or maybe. Alright, cool. Cool. The bash you again, because we didn't have the enchantment up when we did that. And can I... How is that not hitting? It's so weird. I... Okay. What? Huh? I'm losing my mind. That... Do I need to... Oh, it's because the necromancer. That's it. Okay. Right, there's a necromancer in here, which means that unless I have sacred on them, they'll just come back. Let's see. Wait, what? Yep, yeah, blue medicinal solution. Well, I... That's usually how it goes. Generally speaking. Honestly, if anything, that's kind of the stereotype. Okay. So, let's... Let's back to send down here. See what I can find. I haven't found any. I think there might be an invisible somewhere here, but... Well, you know... I'm, I'm glad that people agree. You know, occasionally I'm right. And when that occasion comes, I am in fact right. Okay, so there are more of these death white crabs. Right, because since this is catacomb with death root, it's one overtaken. I heard about that. I thought that was I thought that was a while ago, right? Hmm. Yeah, but these are we're kind of moldy because of the influence of death root. The glove ward and... Well, I can open that. It's not from here. Also, uh... Stuff a liar. Invisible walls and... And why is that? It's probably deserved. Oh, goodness. Okay. And I... Slam it. Okay, and just let me... Okay, cool. Well, it's dead now. So is there a lever somewhere that I can use, or what? Crab eggs. Rune arc, not bad. Then, dead end ahead. Huh. So is there a lever that I can use to... Well, okay, cool. I... I saw some people talking about that, but I... 
seem to be more people in the community complaining about the nature of the art that they were getting. Not people from outside. From what I could tell, the call was coming from inside the house, so to speak. Okay, so how do I... wait. Weak foe ahead. Do I have to break that down, or... Do I have to let the crab break it? Huh. I... I'm confused. I... Don't know what's going on with the texture glitch. Well, I... okay. Performance is noticeably better, but still... I might... For it, uh... Well, you have to understand that nobody hates Genshin fans as much as Genshin fans. Weak foe ahead. How do I... Huh. Do I have to let the crab break it down? Let me just check. Black Knife Catacombs. Let me see. Catacombs. Oh, okay. You have to actually stand on top of the guillotine blade when it goes down, and it will take you up. That's funky. Huh. Let's try that then. Really should have checked that. Mmm, okay, cool. And oh, that was what was down there. Oh, cool. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> ah! Ah. Is there another or. That sounds painful. Because there was a ledge over there. Okay, interesting. Now I see. And that was why it was taking so much damage, because the firebomb guns I couldn't see. But I think. An unstated reason that the discourse is happening is because people see the art style is appealing to subsets of the fan community that they aren't particularly fond of. Because... Okay, Grave Gobble Gobble 4. Both enriched. And, I, and I'm sure that we've talked about this before, but... The Genshin fan community tends to be very, very prone to, for lack of a better term, gender wars. Just, you know, discourse over, you know, sort of, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean. And I think, from, from what I could tell about the discussion about art, it was largely a sort of... Sort of a dog whistle for pa for not wanting for thinking that the art was pandering to an undue degree to people they don't like on the other side. Let's see, hidden path ahead is that? Yeah, there is a hidden path ahead with a secret boss. Wow. Okay. Cool. Huh. So who's past here? Well, you know, I guess I could just... Well, once I open that up, I can... Dew Hunter of the Dead. Interesting. Dying due to what? Thing is, we drop down there, we can get on the other side. There are two bosses in here, which I need to stay mindful of. Can I open this up to open that door? Open this one up. Oh. So did, did, the, did the cat get eaten? It's pretty sad, actually. Never think it will happen until you see it. Oh, but I need more tears. Okay, behold the lever. Okay. Then we can... Heavy doors opened. Well, congratulations to you. I'm glad that you got the opportunity to touch the tail of your little baby cat. Okay. But I... Let me just see. Got, apparently, shadows being at lower settings is what causes the shimmering texture glitch. I... 
This discussion will not get anywhere. I think we're just going to have to agree to disagree. But as I was saying... We're not to get too discoursey, but... Part of the reason that Genshin has relatively high production values is specifically because it appeals to a, you know, a wide and diverse audience. And that if it were to try to put its eggs all in one basket, it probably would not be as successful. Which is why when a lot of people, you know, complain about character designs one way or the other, it's generally very, very short-sighted. At least, in my opinion, because it's just... Yeah. And oh, here's the Black Knife Assassin! Okay, cool. Alright, thanks. And one, two, and... Mm, Alright, can I slam? Oh, interesting. So can I... Oh, well, we messed that up. Yeah, we messed that up. Yeah, so you're actually right here. Interesting. So... Oh, well... Mm, can I... Alright, can I slam down? Oh, okay, well, mm, we're in a dangerous position, and uh, uh, I'm gonna- This thing is gonna kill me for sure, almost certainly, but- So, uh, can I- mm, Dodge, and can I- Slam, okay. Oh, message of praise, which means healing. Oh, that's insane. Okay, that's good. Slam, and give me- Give me that. That actually came in exceptionally clutch. And just hit and can I Ooh, okay. Thanks, and can I slam down again and one, two, there we go, nice. Kill it, kill it, kill it. That may have been some of the most convenient message appraisals I've ever seen. Okay. So in that case we got Critical hits for FP, Cerulean Dagger. This is basically the equivalent of Aldrich's Sapphire from Dark Souls 3. Shape and Stain Cerulean, Dark Living Blades for Stace of Death and the Black Knife Print. Fragment of Death from Malekith the Black Blade, imbued its power to the Assassin's Daggers. Evidence of the Ritual hides the truth of the conspiracy. Alright, cool. And this seems to be a little church of some sort, which is interesting. The question is going to be what the actual boss of the area is. I think it might be... Watch dogs, in which case this would handle it would be using <clears throat> crystal darts to make them fight each other. Oh, but we don't have the death root yet. The death root will be in another part past the other boss, presumably. First, we should switch out our Ash of War on this thing. Back to stamp upward cut. Anything else here or no? Maybe if I went and got Lion's Claw, that would work a bit better, but we'll see. Yeah, but that Black Knife Assassin went down. Didn't go down that badly. Let's just see who's past here. And, and is this... Oh, it's a cemetery shade with that's actually quite bad. Okay. So it would go down really easily to Sacred Blade, but I need Sacred Blade for it. It's exceptionally weak to Holy, and there are also skeletons in there, which I would want Sacred Blade or something like it in order to kill. But... Mm -hmm. Will I had just now? No, no way. So in that case, we can just go back... Back up top. Put Sacred Blade back on this thing, and then that will be... That'll be the Black Knight Catacombs. But yeah, it's just... Doing so much less damage to these skeletons. They're actually really annoying if you don't have something like Sacred Blade, but Sacred Blade makes them complete and utter joke, which is funny. Let's put Sacred Blade back on this thing. No, not magic. I don't want magic. I want this. No, to be fair... Gravitas would have been good on... Goodness. Gravitas would have been good on the birds in Stormvale, but... It'll be a long time until I see anything else that is... Meaningfully difficult and airborne, so... Thing is, we don't need this in the inventory right now. 
Let's just use our flask and hit it. Okay, cool. Thank you, and we got this going. Cool, and oh my goodness. Alright, we just gotta make sure that these guys get out of- What? Okay. So, hitting the skeletons with projectiles, or more accurately, we're probably just focus smart in the cemetery shade. Will work better. Hmm. Oh! Kinda crazy, honestly. Okay, then. Let's just try that fight again. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that texture shimmer glitch is, though. Hmm. Let's get this back, and oh, well, we still need this. Okay. Come on, come on. I uh, okay. Cool, and oh, my, okay. Oh, wow, this guy is... Guy dies very, very easily, though. So these projectiles is a thing. As long as you can actually hit with this, I can... Yeah, that was actually a joke. Okay, cool. Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes. Okay. Some Death Root Pass there, too. Twin Sage Sorcerer Spirit. Rai Wakari Sorcerer wearing, Sorcerer wearing the Stone Crown. To study the Twin Sage Conspectus or the Academy's Elite. Capable of mastering the Glintstone Comet Shard and Crystal Burst Sorceries. Okay. And they just obliterated the other guy, too. All those skeletons died when we killed the Cemetery Shade, which was nice. It's just, so many of the rewards are just Spirit Ashes, which I don't really make use of. I just don't. Thank you. Thank you for being so proud of me. In that case, I guess I'll just go over here through the ruins, and go up to the tree, burn them down. And this is be kind of annoying to get there, though. Is the thing. And have to drop down the gravestones here, I think. Otherwise, I'd have to get there by actually getting the key to Ryukaria, doing the teleport from here to here, and the teleport from here to here. But this may surprise you, but I would rather not do that. Big thing is, we got another death root, which means we can feed Garonk. To your gratness? Did you mean to say greatness, or were you calling yourself a rat? Strange, there's something else. There's something else. Mm -hmm. Death yet quenches. Yet quenches there's more. Ash of War Beast Roar. Interesting in that. Keen of Finning, so Dexterity Beastly Roar. Running there is a forward traveling projectile, all melee armaments. Alright. There are ten in total, if I recall correctly. Final one just gives you an upgrade material, which isn't bad, but not something I particularly need, really. Mm -hmm. Should be a. Side of Grace somewhere in the old palace ruins that I can use and then get up this minor urgery. But there's no way up, as far as I recall, up to this ailing village over here from the minor urgery. You have to approach it from the north. But that'll get us mostly done with Hayata's questline, who, if you recall, is basically Irina. The girl who was murdered by a misbegotten daughter of Edgar, the guy we killed. And that one shack, the one with a bunch of the human meat dumplings. But I level up, but that shimmering texture glitch is really weirding me out. <laughs> yeah. Foliage down is... Actually, I just want to see... Foliage up versus foliage. Advanced settings, grass high. Not been applied. Go back to the title menu and see how that works. Hmm. Maybe I'll just, I'll just put things on high collectively. And see what that does for my CPU load. Big thing is, is that unless the thermal paste was applied incorrectly, which I suppose it might have been, 
I shouldn't need to replace it for some time. Well, actually, it's been... It's been about a year and a half, so it might be about time. But... Hmm. Let's put high quality. And that... Hopefully this will work. I... We'll see. Big thing is... If it weren't summer, I'm sure I would have been able to run max settings just fine. It's just... My CPU is not particularly good at cooling itself off, and in the winter, you know, it's going to start off cold and have a lot of residual lack of heat, so to speak, from just things being cold in general. But in the summer, you know, the opposite is true. In my room in particular, I have the phenomenal luck to probably have the room that probably just gets the least air conditioning, frankly. Oh, but this, yeah, this is a bit separate. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One, two, and then we cannot... I thought I would have been able to go for charge heavy, but whatever. And there we go, and you're already... You at least go for a back stab, which is good, and... That kind of kept you away, but... Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Mr. Weak to Slash. One. Oh, and there's somebody shooting at me. Yep, exactly. It's like last time. So we gotta figure out how to get around to that guy shooting at me without actually getting shot. This is the thing. Hmm. I actually see the map right now, which is good, but this is more or less where the bear showed up, so if I can take out the archer and go about this relatively peacefully, at least unharried, peacefully is probably the wrong word, especially since I'm literally just killing these guys in cold blood. But yeah, you can just stagger these guys with... They don't have a way to just power through your attacks. It's actually kind of surprised me, considering how large they are. Okay, but... Let's see, the, the sniper's right there. Okay, so we blocked it using the tree that time, which is good. Can I? I did not mean to kill you, sorry. Okay. And Thin Beast Bones. And... And this is... Oh, that was a very lucky, completely accidental dodge. Was there another... There was another guy over there. Okay. Take him out for the sake of being thorough, especially since it might also determine whether I get flash regeneration, so... Thank you, thank you. Alright. It... I would not say that the sword is too good. It feels strong, and I like that it feels strong. It is kind of funny, though, that despite strength kind of being a god stat because of how strong stance breaks are in this one, it still... This is a dexterity greatsword. Understandable. God speed. Gato speed. So how am I going to get up there? Is the Oh, come on. This is... Can't really jump there yet. Is the thing. Are they gonna shoot me now, or...? Hmm, that's the question. How do I get... Right spot, going up here presumably, just looping around. And the archer should be over this way, I think. Hello there, hi. Oh, goodness. Alright, and can I... One, two, three... Okay, so three hits actually does it pretty reliably, that's nice. Mmm, can I? Okay, ooh, alright, but it still works. Hit both of them, but question is, so I can actually afford to get a quick heal off, which is good. So what else and where? There's the guy who's shooting me, and I can take them out pretty simply, but sunflowers, not good for much, but so I can get them. Oh my goodness, okay, cool. Let's just hide down here then. This should keep them out of my way, so... And, okay, one, two, 
Do they stomp or how do they hit me? Oh. Well, you know. Maybe. Maybe having to go to the bathroom puts her in an abnormally good mood. Just. Gotta take these things as they come. Where is. I think I hear a bat. And you are over there. One, two, three. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, so do you have to crawl now? Or what? Do you just have to watch from a distance? So we have side of grace over here, which is nice, but... Oh, wait. In what sense? Is it just... This is weird, though. It doesn't really match the geography of the map. So I guess some renovations, quote-unquote, were made by the Beastman or something like that. It's funny, actually. So then I don't want to fall down, but I do have Ruined a Labyrinth. Oh, but also I can take the... Black knife print to Rajir and presumably Thea as well. Oh, a frenzy flame stone. Chaos followers. Shriya, those who host the frenzied flame, converse madness. Upon those who have not adopted the flame, take care not to stake it for its gentle cousin, but. So I can't even get any benefit out of that yet because I haven't. Don't even have the ability to become the Lord of Frenzied Flame yet. Oh, okay. Pile of rocks. It is your dad a big stack up rocks guy? Because I feel like that that is one of the sort of quintessential male urges. Just piling up rocks. But the question is where Melina would actually it'd be funny if Melina had something to say here. Well of course she doesn't, it would be a weird place too, but Funny if I just miss that, but it is kind of strange that this the geography of the map was completely asymmetric to the geography of the actual area. Oh wow, yeah. If it works, it works. Can I get up here? Can I get up here? Presumably. And you have to approach from a slightly different angle, is the thing. A turtle, a turtle in the area around your house, or let's say turtle in general. I maybe if I if I dash on the horse, maybe I could get up on that. I okay. Oh, interesting. And what's in here? This is curious. So is this a way to the frenzy flame village, or? Is there anything actually here? Get some early flowers, but beside that, besides that, I... Hmm. Oh, this is actually... This was a drop-down, so the bear is right over there. So this was a way to skip the palace ruins. Interesting. Well, is, is it a cute turtle? Do you think it'll pee on you if you pick it up? To be fair, the two aren't mutually exclusive. This one does not have a bell, which means it's actually a bit limited in the remembrances it can duplicate, to my knowledge. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, a job. That is kind of worrisome. Yeah, you know. Once bitten, twice shy. Or should I say once pissed on, twice shy. Okay. So. Oh, well, I messed that up entirely. Let's go over and stop this mausoleum, so I can just deal with it later. And okay, nah, uh -huh. okay. When I'm right, I'm right. Might not happen often, but big thing is some of these should eventually. One of them will eventually have ones I have to hit from range. Well, you know it. Cats are... I like cats. But dogs are actually smarter. 
from a pure cognitive sense. You know, the fact that dogs have a strong concept of loyalty tends to make people think that cats are smarter, but it's not true in the slightest. You need to have strong cognition. Oh my goodness, instant death. You've got to be kidding me. You have to have pretty strong cognition to understand loyalty as a concept. Otherwise, you're just acting on instinct and sometimes familial bond. Oh, but... Mm -hmm. I... I think it depends on the cat. The big thing, from what I've heard, is just... I guess maybe... Oh wait, what? Huh? Oh, we actually brought it down. It just... crushed me. Okay. Okay, my runes are here. Well... That's done, then. Okay. Let's actually mark this... as... Yeah. There's gonna be another one nearby, I think big thing is this one did not have a bell so it can't actually replicate demigod remembrances but yeah exactly you can't duplicate godrix because this one does not have did not have a bell can't see it anymore because it's gone down but when it was walking around there was no bell So what you're saying is, is that your cat gives you commands. Understandable. You know, if it's what she wants. Spiral horn shield. Antlers in the egg-like pattern. Inflict blood loss, tarnished warrior. Close size of the ancestral followers. Effects are slight. Boost immunity, robust, robustness, and focus. And a parry on there. Okay. Kind of like... The pure shield and the thorn shields from Dark Souls, or I guess maybe you could argue like the Lionel shields from Zelda. Well, you know, as long as it works. Hmm. The neighbors. Well, you know, maybe maybe you gotta take back what you said about cats being loyal. Maybe so. Hmm. So what then is Mm -hmm. There is a bit of stuttering, but it should be stuttering that turns down graphics to increase performance, so I should be okay. So there's another one over there. Guess we'd reach it up from this little pathway. Empty land and sheep. Okay. Hmm. And in that case, the big thing is we don't have the weird sort of blurry texture glitch and honestly I feel like I should play around on my own time to see what caused that one as long as I can prevent that from happening I'm fine with lower settings but I need to make sure it doesn't happen and oh well I did not intend to get critical but that is just fine with me okay thanks and can I one Two. Alright. So their stance is only about 40 then, which... I guess makes sense if they are a humanoid enemy, but it's just... Their size made me expect a bit more stance. For your flesh, indeed, their souls in... Oh, a Mikola's Lily. Unallied gold, fade in will. Delicate water lily, fade in the halo tree. Boiled by the Empyrean Mikola in his youth. I, I, I presume that Twitch autocorrected that to something you did not actually say. Something maybe a bit more pleasant. Let's get down here then. Hmm. Okay. So there are bell bearings I could get, but... For now, the finger seal is still probably my best option for casting and buffing just for general use. Just see, I 
God Slayers will probably be better eventually, but that will take a while to be able to use. <laughs> Actually, I guess the question is, if I upgraded Callmark, would it have better incant scaling given... Well, the strength portion would not affect enchantments is the thing. Yeah, well, you know... There's something to be said for being predictable. Makes you easy to understand. Unless you're predictably uncomprehensible, which, to be fair, is not all that common, I presume. Hmm. Oh, right, the Urge Tree, the minor Urge Tree, would be over there, so. Let's head over that way then. Hmm. Let's just activate this side of Grace. And this is. What is this? No, really, though. I guess the question is. Mausoleum compounds. Right, because they're a couple of walking mausoleums around here. The question for me is then, if, if, there were some ruins of the underground palaces above ground, what was it that sent them under? Guess it, you know, it, it really is the economy of, the economy of Elden Ring then. They were basically forced down below ground. And another jump. I might be better off trying to do this with- Oh, wow. That was big. I'll do this on horseback, maybe. Maybe, but... Mm -hmm. The... Mounted attack at this thing is... Leaves a bit to be desired, frankly. And can I... Mm -hmm. And jump. Jump over that, which is nice. Never mind. Thought someone was knocking on my door. It's not the case. I guess the question is, can I jump that? Yeah, I, I can jump it myself too, but that's good. One, two, three. How many more do we need to take down? That might be enough. It's not enough. No, it is enough. Okay, cool. So let's just stay out of the way of this so I don't get hit. This one did not have a bell either. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Got a couple of mocking mausoleums around there for when we want to duplicate non-boss remembrances, which... We'll see when that happens. Hmm. Because if we go over here, we can... Yeah, it's still not... One of the ones where we can duplicate demigod remembrances, so the usefulness of it is somewhat mitigated, sadly. That over there is the... It's... I think it's the Frenzy Flame Village. Another place afflicted by Frenzy. But... And we will go up there, but we'll have to do a bit of dropping down, I think. We'll have to drop down to this part of Northern Olyurnia, which normally, you, again, you would kind of get to after you went through the academy, but that is not how I'm going to be doing it. Hmm. So this over here is... Oh, hello! This is actually, in that case, how I want to deal with... Yeah, I can use my Grey Rune now. Can take these guys out, pop my stuff, and then... By the avatar, I think. Yeah. Gotta make sure that we can take these guys out without aggravating the Urtree avatar, which, again, easier said than done. To end. Alright, cool. So, ooh, okay. Close enough. Hmm. So now they're coming over this way, man. So if I use Flame of the Fell God on the. That was long if we hit both of them consistently. That was really good. Use Flame of the Fell God on V. Are there any more? I think this is the last one. They seem to be worshipping the Urge Re Avatar, which is interesting because Ancestral Followers are sort of enemies of the Urge Re to an extent. Just see then. Check my incantations. This is. Can this be charged? 
it cannot be charged. Big thing is, we need actually Grafted Blade Greatsword. And use the skill to boost my faith. Use a rune arc first. So, rune arc. Boost my stats. There we go. We are a good deal stronger now. Then we use. Oh, but. Would it be faithful or. That would be 20, 25 exactly is the issue. If I... I should come back in a bit if I want to do it like that is the issue. And can't use that. Hmm. Might have messed up a bit there. So I need 41 to use, Flame of the Fell God. Tells me to get me to 25 and then I could use... I could get the light to 40 is the thing. It's kind of painful. I, uh, you know what? We'll just keep this going. We're just going to use Black Flame anyway. There will be more Urge Re Avatars in the future than I could. Oh, but wait, no. Right, no, I'm fine. I forgot what I was using. Okay, cool. Should be good. Yeah, we can make this happen. Cool. Now we got to use some other stuff. Let's use a big old fireball on this guy then. So can't use that. Now I can use this. There we go, and then we... Like this. Now we can cast this thing. Exciting. And we just do it like this. I'm with the Fell God, and... Keep on casting these. Keep on casting these, and... Eventually they should... Blow up... On the Avatar. Cool, and... Oh, alright, Okay, cool, and... Alright, thanks. Nice! Okay, nice, and another one cast. Cool, and just dodge, 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 and mm. Okay, cool. One more, one more. And can I move in, and boom. Oh, well, not if it misses. That sucked. Big thing is now I need... Can I cast another? I think I can. Just move in, and mm. Thank you, thank you, and... Oh, how can I? Okay, well, alright. Okay, cool, cool. And now I need another. One more Flame of the Fell God. Should do it. But it's moving around way too much. And we actually managed. Managed to use that funny spell. Cool. Enemy fell then. Well, I. Alright. Can I. Ah, uh, I was so distracted by how fun that was that I forgot to use my foul foot. Whatever. And we got. Three, every tier but fire, which is interesting that the fire one wouldn't drop here, everything but fire, but fire is anathema with the Ur tree, so we'll get it from around the busted Ur tree and not kill me. We attack the mixed physic. Lightning, magic. See it kind of blowing at the bottom. Here it's a shock effect, and here it's just a radiant effect. Okay, cool. Okay. That was really good. Well, kinda. But that is kind of our super mode. Using that weapon as well as a rune arc and relevant talismans to just actually have something resembling an actual stat build. Mm hmm. So put Radagons back on. Hmm. Let's check around the tree to see if there's anything else that I missed, but... The big thing is that... That spell, the wiki said it would be really good on Urtree avatars. And it can be, but the issue is that... It kind of relies on them staying in... The radius. Well, for one, they can move out of the way of the fireball explosion, the initial actual explosion, if they move quickly enough. But even beyond that, okay, the big thing is that some of the stuttering is probably caused by the auto detection. So if I just keep it on high, should hopefully keep things decent without having to run this sort of checking routine. But that was really all that was in this immediate area. 
So now all there really is to do is go back around back around the Frenzy Flame Village. At least we got that done. But as I was saying... I, okay, cool. Oh, funky. Alright, oh, but I forgot to, forgot to level. I mean, forgot to heal. Okay. But... And, you know, the Rune Arc is actually helping. That's nice. Reward a headband and that. Sister Flower Warriors, distant from the Urgery, new buds, very flush and deep their souls. Yeah. But, as I was saying, it weaves a bunch of fire on the ground, which sometimes, depending on where the avatar is, it'll just stay and take most of the hits from the fire on the ground. But, if a budding horn from that, too. Huh. The items are Bivorous Beast, there's a horn vestige in the Primordial Crucible, but, well, those guys kind of had horns. Maybe they just harvested them, or maybe it's because they have a sort of affinity for budding. Probably. Yeah, but to get up over here, over in here, we'll actually be able to meet Vike. Which, he should be weak to lightning, I think. Festering fingerprint Vike. Just check. And while Roundtable Knight Vike is weak to... Actually, specifically weak to magic and lightning. So actually weak to magic. Okay. Strong versus physical. But I wonder if the invader version would be different. But even still, I think that lightning would be good. Because the enemies actually generally don't dodge lightning. Weirdly enough. They tend to, as in the lightning spear spell that I got. Incantation, not spell. Incantation that I got a little bit ago. Last time, enemies generally don't bother dodging it. They just stand there and get hit, which would be useful for us. If we're fighting invaders who often get kind of dodgy, we can just use something that they won't dodge. But I hear a scarab somewhere. Okay, it's right over there, so what is going to be this thing? What am I going to get from you? Stop moving. One, two, three, and this is... Okay, just another level two somber smithing stone. It's not bad. Eventually I will be able to buy smithing stones and somber smithing stones in all levels other than maximum. As an ancient dragon, which for somber is plus ten, for normal weapons is plus twenty-five, which... Really, they really inflated the sort of requirements for leveling weapons in this one compared to other Souls games. In the original Dark Souls, you can level weapons at plus 15, but well, that was only for pure normal affinity. There were some others that were the equivalent of plus 15 or arguably even the equivalent of something like plus 17 based on the number of steps you had to get there in order to upgrade them. Because you would have to pay a bit and use some shards to, say, upgrade a normal weapon to a fire weapon. But that would only take it to plus zero. It wouldn't take it to plus one. And then it could get to plus five. And then when you got to plus five, you could upgrade it further into, say, chaos. So chaos plus five would technically be the equivalent of sort of a normal weapon plus 17, if that makes any sense. Not that it really matters. It makes all, all that much difference, but... But that still pales in comparison to Elden Ring normal weapons being upgradable all the way to plus 25, which it's not just it's not just bloat. It's certainly partially bloat, but the percentile damage increase from base to maximum upgrade in Elden Ring is also a good deal more than Well, in standard Souls games, you would get about how did I jump that? That's kind of crazy. About a little under 100% more damage, just about double damage from upgrading something from base all the way to maximum. Depending on the weapon, mostly talking about standard weapons here. The... In Dark Souls 2 specifically, they were interesting about it where unique weapons upgraded using Twinkling Titanite would start out at a sort of higher level, but gain less from each upgrade. Whereas boss weapons, which would be upgraded with quote-unquote Petrified Dragonbone, which the game is 
describes it as dubious whether it's actually Dragonbone or not. But it starts out lower but upgrades higher. The amount of damage you get from upgrading on those weapons is more than you get from upgrading other weapons of any other kind, but this- oh, another rune bear. Okay. Fun! Okay. So then, let's try to sneak up on this guy. This is probably lose my rune arc effect time. Whatever. Thanks, and- okay, one, two, and- oh, well, not if I miss entirely. Dodge, can I- slam! Slam again, and okay, cool. Well, if I- Okay, and just- do Okay, well, alright. Oh, for close, we don't get hit by that shockwave nearly as much. Let's go ahead and- wait, what? Huh? I- okay, nice, and heal, heal. I am really just losing my mind here. I- okay, can I- Slam, and- Can I- do Oh, well, okay. And- Wait, how did I not- Okay, alright. Weird, okay. I guess they just have really fast stance recovery. It's possible. And, well, we got that, but... Uh, you're kidding. Do what? Huh? I... Okay. Weird. I... Rune bears are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. And I just cannot... Slam it. Just dodge. Okay, cool. Can I... Thanks, and... Can I... Oh, please. You're... Okay, cool. And... Can I... Kill. There we are. Another dead bear. It only took way too much. But, as long as I've got this rune arc effect up, I am a good deal stronger. Because since I'm using every stat, at least some point, and it's having more vigor, mind, and endurance is really good. In of itself, just for making more durable. But, hmm. Because the rune arc effect is basically the equivalent of... Basically the equivalent of... 40 more levels. Which is crazy. That is... Okay, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Let me see. But it... It lasts until death. And it is interesting that, quite honestly... It's a lot more significant of an effect, just gameplay-wise, than the Embers in Dark Souls 3. And it is interesting, because they kind of split off the multiplayer summoning opening capability of Embers, because in Dark Souls 3, you needed to be Embered in order to summon anyone for multiplayer, but in this one, it's just... You summon by using an item called a Fruel Calling Finger Remedy, which is actually really easy to craft. It Honestly, it, it's more of a toggle button for seeing summon signs more than anything else. If, I, don't, I, I don't think they really intended it to really be a limiting factor for multiplayer more than sort of a legacy example, because in every other Souls game, they did limit co-op summoning at least a little, but... Can I- Oh my lord, and that's so stupid. Well, that's that rune arc effect gone. We're back to normal now. Except I- Big question is, how much more garbage platforming am I going to have to do? Because once I get down here, I'm probably pretty much free. It... Until maybe I get to Landell, which, once I get underneath Landell through the dungeons and catacombs... There's a good chance that I die a bunch because there are some annoying platforming puzzles there. But aside from that, once I actually get down, I may as well just rune arc up, honestly. The amount of additional durability it gives me, among other things, is almost indispensable. Hmm. Go down here. And it... It's just really weird to platform through here. It's... Quite finicky. And... 
Down here is. I okay. Cool. I, all right. Took some damage from that, but get down the road over here. We should be fine. We just gotta hit up that side of Grace, and we should be chilling. Relatively chilling. Mm -hmm. How am I going to seek joy? I think actually yeah, there are more gravestones down here. If I wanted to get down to that part of things, but I really don't. At least not like this. Doesn't look like there are any items to get from dropping down there anyway. So here and then, dog. Well, it's too high up. And this, nothing again. I think over this way, probably not. You know, every time they hide an item reward poking around a bit. I feel a little conflicted because on one hand it's good that I didn't do it for nothing. But it just reinforces my feeling of having to always check every little nook and granny. <clears throat> Can't get over here. That's another teleport gate that I can't quite make it past, because these, these are the closed gates, and they teleport you to run this way. The actual, and you can kind of see it straight ahead, that's where we teleport us. That's actually a pretty active PvP hotspot, or at least it used to be, but I recall. So here we go, we can't use this teleport gate right now. Cannot proceed without a glintstone key. Someone gonna say you don't have the right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Funny enough. And I... Let's activate this side of grace, and there should be a finger reader around here. Presumably. Did I use... Let's just use this. Okay, cool. Nice. Easter Rai Wakari get... Oh, Melina! There we go, it's a good thing we checked. Oh, Sister Buck, eager to see her return. Talk to him when you can, much contented. Okay, and we can give him the golden sewing kit we got from the church, actually. For service, adjustments to your garments. To your garments, and... Going so soon, safe on your journeys. Let me just see if I... I guess I may as well. I guess that raises the question with that. So you'll be safe. Do I have the... Let's just see. Might have disappeared due to... No, I do have the gold sewing kit and golden tailoring tools. Okay. So he doesn't give me the opportunity to give him stuff yet, is the thing. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Okay, then. I suppose he'll stay here for now, but... Finger reader crone over there. I wonder if she'll... Give a hint about getting the glintstone key. Not that I don't already know where to get them, but see what she says. Without the right, stand at a loss, have crested that wish to be whole. Moving, unfeeling, grand left ahead. Herself to the waters, cowards pass through the dim cavern. That would be... Go through here. Which is actually not really the coward's passage, because you have to fight a dragon at the end of that dungeon, but... Normally we'd go to Fort Height over here. Then Fort Faroth around this way to get the two halves of the medallion, so we'll just keep that in mind for later, but I can get close to the Lift of Dectus right now. I think I'll actually go over this way and sort of loop around. Is there... Go through the Frenzy Flaming Village and do Hydra's Quest before I forget about it. Where I really, really forget about it, I need to go back to... this place back to the hold because among other things well actually let me just see did i already get i never bought own bolt okay cool let's take that in that would be maybe a bit better than lightning spear we'll see it depends sophia might have something to say about the black knife print let's talk well, we gotta let her do this in order to talk, so... It really does... It lingers for a while on this 
She actually looks a bit like Alfreda from Dark Souls 3. I think I've commented on that before. Oh, ho, oh, ho. Mm hmm. About the Black Knight, bro. Talk a bit. Ancient Pride, Infinity the Act, Truth and Conspiracy, but. Oh, so we have to show it to him. That was the message we got before. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cool. Hmm. So in that case... There are... They make it a bit PG-13, but... Yeah. Get rid of that. Just get my health back, because your max HP decreases while you've got that in the inventory. So we just have to go over to D and Rajir then, presumably. Hmm. Can I do for you? And he can't say anything about that yet, which means we should talk to Rajir about that black knife print. And yep, flies all around him. He's decaying. Black knife print, black knife print. And she had her hands on this. Knight of the Black Knives, assassin signs of the Eternal City. There were new men. Silver under cloaks which ruled the eye. Root of death through sinister right. Knife print for a time. She's out its secrets. She will perform to about power of the rune of death. I want her performed to remain in the imprint. Piece of death help me see. Yep, exactly. So we can't see his lower body. Okay, cool. Have to reset this. Reset the area a few times and eventually something else. Not yet. And eventually, I don't think he'll die yet, but eventually he will just pass on. Leaving some stuff behind, but. Complete enough from back with my thanks. Interesting. Good idea. Knight of the Black Knives. King Consort Ronigon, first wife of Nala. We saw her before, and she was the one who gave us Spirit Calling Bell. Done, Praetor Rykard. Discovered in the imprint. Hmm. Alright then. Some more of you brought a faithful knight. Curse mark upon her flesh. And the body we see is not her original form procured for me. Answers I have sought for so long. Okay. Ronnie's whereabouts. Question is, when would Regier die? Sir Regier. He will. Ronnie had the three sisters before that. She was death. Black knife print. Oh, the curse mark, though, we have to get that through her quest line, which means that. Which automatically kills them after a certain point, so there's no way to show it to him. Okay, understandable. Mm hmm. Yeah. We are in a. A vassal. Okay. Whereabouts? Potential whereabouts? Matter of the North. That would be. The Karian Manor. Karian Ro Royals. And it is Karia, not Karia. Karian Royals. Well, kept secret hasn't been seen even once. In which she was born. So am I. Procure for me. Brought it. There's her home. Current residence. Let me see. Regiers. I skipped a line there inadvertently, so. What did he say? Check. Name I discovered in the Imperint. Okay, have my thanks. Might be bold to ask something more. Who truly plotted? One who plotted that fateful night. Curse mark there. Procure for me. All will be laid bare. Answers I have sought for so long. Okay, want a curse mark? Something I must tell you. Those who have been dead, devise a golden order. These accounts must be expunged. Curse mark to save them. Find this peculiar. Oh, examination of the Knight of the Black Knives and that. That's why he gets on so with Fia. No offense, right to life, fall on the order. Interesting about D. Indeed, do know what drives me now. Boil over with rage, feel pity. Now that will come to pass, so good why when I need to. Okay, so we'll meet Ronnie over in Karia Manor, but what does he have to say now? Do for you, he won't say anything, so we're keeping his secret. I guess we're pleasant. So then, we go back up to the Frenzy Village. Nothing there, and anything else, or... Let me see. See you safe, nothing there, so... Let's head back north, go up. 
around here, and the question is... So I go through the lake first, or the Karia Manor first? Probably through the lake first. This Karia Manor is... also kind of a mini-dungeon. It... might be a little bit of trouble, but we'll see. Also, I would also be able to... Should be a graveyard somewhere around here that I might be able to farm. An Executioner's Great Axe from, which would be my best option for criticals eventually, I believe. Basically, my strategy so far has evolved around proccing stance breaks and then getting criticals on enemies. It's an idea. Hmm. Well, well. Or pen in front of or behind computer. Form from the front. Case for cooling. Hmm. Definitely behind. Well, okay. So in that case, I think, as awkward as my room setup is right now, it's probably the best bet I have. Keeping things cool and manageable. Another arterial leaf. It... Honestly, it'll be some time until I... The only thing I can think of myself using... Incantations, physical, physical spells on would be... The Estelle enemies, but... What are you doing over here? I... Big thing is, if I backstep, you'd fall down, so... If you drop anything of note, Words from Strange Sword and the Ryokarian Helm. Fun, a single cuckoo's feather. And there's some people who believe that the reason that they're the Knights of the Cuckoo... Oh, because it's... Is the connection bad right now? Sorry to hear that. Oh, we've got so many golden runes that they're going... They're going in storage now. It's kind of crazy. Hundred times. That'll be one level up, but only one. These are cuckoo knights. Actually, presumably, the others would be cuckoo soldiers, maybe? And, can I... Mm, okay. Can I... Oh my goodness. Alright, I do not like that. Come on, come on. This coin is annoying and... Oh, come on. Oh. What were you trying to say, though? And there we have that, and... Stab the guy, cool. And there we are. Cool, dead. Hmm. Really tough. Well, you know, as long as, as long as, as long as the good people are satisfied. And maybe the bad ones too. Gotta throw them a bone every now and then. Okay. Get down there. Yeah, it would take a bit. Burr up. Cannot believe Eric Andre reference. Eric Andre reference in the Elden Ring message. It's crazy, actually. You're welcome. Oh, I mean, not not just good people, good goblins. That's right. And stab. Oh, nice. We can actually dismount and go for that kill. And we could let the horse get away. I'm not going to do that. You know... It was an evil horse with an evil master and okay. Oh, I know! And I was making a joke because you say you're not a person but a goblin. Okay, you know... It's probably a bit... a bit much, but... If it works, it works. So, did that guy drop anything? I don't think. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, you... You don't have any human rights. You might have goblin rights, but human rights? Not really. Okay. I think there's a church over here that I should be able to get sacred tear from, I think? Maybe. Let's keep on checking. And there was, oh, another merchant. You know, maybe I will keep going around the area of Dectus before I... Well, eh, I don't know. Big thing is, I think I want to go get... The tear from that church at least first, and oh well, no, she's over here. Okay, there is a tear. I'll just see it for a second. Hello. Hello. 
Hayata? The only one? Finger print grapes. I saw the burnt fingers. I'll have to try one. It's far closer than before. Can't see them from the usual ones anymore. Chasing the dragon. Well, once I get one, I might go mad. Grapes, burnt fingers. The burnt fingers, which are not, of course, the two fingers, but the maddening three fingers. So now we can upgrade our flask one more time. And that to plus six. And I believe they go to plus twelve at maximum. There we are. Cool. Nice. Bellum Church over here, but... It is from the church up here that we will get the fingerprint grape that Hayata so desires. I already reset that, so we might as well go back. That was... Gate of Nightmares. Oh, it was... Oh, well, it was also a mobile game, too. For better or worse. Derogatory? Maybe. Left as an exercise for the reader, as usual. Keep on going. Let me keep looking. Oh, interesting. Huh. So, obviously, you're going to read it, right? Because you worship the ground that man walks on. Let's keep on going. Got a few more of these random foot soldiers. Thank you, and ooh, interesting. I all right. One, two, and ooh, goodness. Understandable. Maybe, maybe, maybe you got dignity too. We can, we can try to assume the best. We can be optimistic. Understandable. Soldier's crossbow. This must be equipped, lacking both power and accuracy. No scaling whatsoever, but yeah, it's comically low stat requirements, but hey. The funny thing is that an astrologer, the sort of base wizard build, would not actually be able to equip that, which is funny. There. Well, the way I handle things like that is just enjoying the feeling of wallowing in despair. That's how I do it. Might not work for you. Then... So that would lead up that way, and then we're around the area of the Dectus Lift. Question is whether there'll be any other dungeons in here, or... Who banned you from it? Who has that kind of authority? Family? Friends? The Goblin King? David Bowie as the Goblin King in hit movie Labyrinth? Who was... Oh, more Cuckoo Knights. Oh, goodness. Scholar's Armament. Funky. Okay, then. Okay. Can I... Nice. And... Cool. Nice. Guard counter. And... Another ore. Can I... Go in. Stab. And another little... Quick critical to kill. Oh. Well... That's why you have to schedule your crying for... After class like I did. What's on here? Slumbering egg. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not really needed. Well, if it was making the people around you afraid, you know, maybe that was a sign. So what in that case? Was this just... The only thing up here was the slumbering eggs? I guess. Huh. So I bet you could drop down on a, this. Yeah, uh, but I, hmm. Oh, but wait. Huh? How did I... Wait. What? Were there multiple layers of ledge, or... Am I... Am I... Am I cooked? Fair. Mm hmm That's one more reason to not get into fate. And... So nice of these... Take the bats out and want to hit at least from. At least will not perceive yet. Okay. Oh. 
It would actually stop people from doing work? Huh, well... It... Maybe, maybe in that case, maybe people liked you more than you thought. Maybe, I don't know. Come on, I, alright, thanks. Stab! Stab! There we go, cool, and... Well, we didn't manage to get that stance break critical, but... Well, I mean the dismount critical, because I messed up. Oh, well, oh, they dropped a sliver of meat. The British will not be happy about this one. Mm -hmm. Elden Ring is a game for horse meat connoisseurs, I suppose. At least people who are willing to consume it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe it's pony meat. Oh, oh, because yeah, they were relying on you. Maybe, maybe we actually, maybe we make our food using Twilight Sparkle. Oh. Hmm. Well, at least hopefully it's over now. Hopefully you don't have to deal with that garbage anymore. It's like I, like I said, you know. We got a sliver of meat as a drop from beating that horse. Fair. Well, depends on where you go, I think. If you have a good crowd of people, it can be better. At least it should be. Oh, another group of these guys. Oh, great. Okay, alright, and gotta make sure that these don't stay out of the way, and can we... There we go, nice, and dismount critical. Kill. Well, again, as long as you're okay with it. And, oh goodness. I. Every fleeing horse must be caught. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Lots of knights on the way to here. And oh, there's a sorcerer. Yeah, as long as as long as you're okay with it, that's the important thing. And oh my goodness. Alright. Come on. Really, really? Okay. Will that reach me? That I don't think that can reach me. Can it how is that hitting me? Do they just have more range? I think they might just... They definitely just have more range. Yeah, okay, cool. Fun! Good on the enemies for getting bonus range compared to me. Using the same exact spells. Thanks. Cool. And Aroa. Hmm, Sanctuary Stone. And just... Thanks. Dodge and move in. And one more, one more. And there we go. Break the stance. Critical kill. Cool. And then any drops, or I guess not. I think I think we got all those guys actually. So, Are there any more in here, or don't see anything? So, what ended up happening? How did you end up telling him off? Presumably. What then is... Hmm. Bellum Church, Hyatta. There's a merchant around there too. Probably gonna give us some cookbooks if we look. Yeah, it... Yeah. The level of entitlement is just off the charts. It... I guess the question really is, and you did say at one point that if you didn't do other people's work for them, your teacher would actually get mad at you, is that right? Which is just wild. I... Just... My condolences to the good people of Italy. Hmm. Fair. Well, it's... As long as you can at least occasionally stand up for yourself. Don't let people walk all over if you can help it. Oh my, ooh, okay. One, two. Oh, oh, well in that case it, all right. So basically, in that case I kind of understand it. Because special education stuff tends to be 
dumped on teachers pretty wantonly and irresponsibly. But I guess beyond all that, beyond all that, I guess the question is just the other stuff that you were pressuring or doing for other people. Was that not the teacher or? Hmm. Come on. I okay. All right. Can I? Thanks. Oh, really? You just keep moving. Okay. Thin beast bones. And we got a couple more wolves to dispatch here. Come on. Luckily, a single hit from my normal overhead will do it. Uh, well, I guess the question is just, after a certain point, you have to accept the fact, or at least they should accept the fact that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it. You can't make it drink. If people just aren't going to buy in to education, there's only so much you can do to force them. It. After after a certain point, she has to realize that it's her problem, her responsibility, her life to live, and you know take responsibility for her own decisions in. Which, you know, a lot of people just don't do. And then... It just... But it really is just, why did they make you do it? You know? The one who already had a bunch of health problems. And I, okay. And, can I, another one? There we go, and... So the horse's stance seems to recover quite quickly. So it's either 60 or 65 or something, then maybe. Oh, did they... Did they come later? Well, that might be too private. Okay. And just... Can I... Well, you know, where, where are you going? Where's that guy going? Okay, cool. And just... Can I... Thanks... Two. Nice. Dismount. Cool. <coughs> Cuckoo Great Shield. And that. Mm -hmm. Over. Oh, goodness. I oh, the horse kind of hit me a little. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Great Shield and decent magic res. Pure and Cuckoo. Enchanted Knight Sword of the Academy. High magic damageation used to hunt down mages, enemies, none other than Karia itself. Okay, so then in that case, yep, the Cuckoo Knights would be on the side of the Academy after they rebel against the Karian Royals. Which is why Renal is cooped up in the study. Yeah, it... After it becomes expected of you, it becomes an obligation, it becomes... Much less pleasant. Yeah, it... It really is silly. Oh, but you can reach Karia Manor from here? Okay. Interesting. That... What do you need? That's interesting for sure. Probably against your will, I presume. Bone Great Arrow. Bone Ballista Bolt. Interesting, but we don't really use Ballistas. Rift Shield, since it's Rift Core's back boost focus. Heater Shield, focus forcing river. That, oh, we could buy Bewitching Branches, but I don't use them. An Allied Gold, compels such affection. In Korean? Wait, was she Korean, her? Or what? That's interesting. Oh, but this might be the Ruin Strong Precipice. Maybe. Yeah, it... Especially since it seemed as if she was kind of taking advantage of you, frankly. Taking advantage of her goodly nature. Oh, but... Well, we could use this. I guess. Well, the prick hammer. Question is... Oh. So maybe... Is that why they had you? Help her? Because they figured you... Had a kinship as a K-pop as K-pop fans. Mm -mm. Oh, but to get up. Oh, I actually don't think I can get up there from here. 
I can get down here from Karia Manor, but it's no way over there. I can't reach that. Hmm. All right. This is just mining. The mining area. Can get down there. The land squirts there, but. Hmm. Well, it. Don't. Don't feel pressured to state the worst about yourself. It's not good to be prideful, but if you have to actively lie to make yourself look worse, that's at least as silly. Oh. Yeah, that, that's always a tough situation to be in. Oh, Cuckoo Knight. And can we... Mm, and... Sab. Oh, wow, we... Oh, interesting. That... It's interesting stance-wise. And I... There we go. Well... Alright then, but... So the swordsman, demigod service, had no rank or title. Long grip, dual handed deuce, dispatch order foes. Duty was an utterly a great honor. And that, it's a bit better than Lord Swords, I think. Okay, well... Know yourself, I suppose. But... You have, you have real positive qualities, and I would not like, would not like you to forget about that, is what I'll say. So, I guess the question is, I think these guys are weak to slashing, but don't actually want to fight these guys right now. Pistol, I don't have Cure Poison on me. This is not a good time to be fighting them anyway. Oh, goodness. Well, there you go. It's better than being ashamed of yourself constantly. And oh, nice. That cool. Take that and one, two, one. There we go. Oh, I think that was Waddleus, maybe, possibly. Maybe so. Whatever helps. Oh, but. I can get down here eventually, but the big thing is, is that the end of that area leads down to Altus, well, leads up to Altus, the dungeon at the end of that mining tunnel, and I, if I go to Altus, it will break some quest lines, I believe, and I would prefer to not do that. It might, yeah, we'll see. But until anything else happens, I'm just gonna back up through the broken floor, and then, hmm. oh come on. So this area over here, this will lead to the Dectus Lift, and then to that Frenzy Village there. There's a tower over here with basically the Eye of Sauron, so, have to deal with that. <laughs> Great ep Great ep -p. P. Uh oh. Yeah, at least not if I can help it. It might happen. But I'm not gonna do it if I can help it. So those guys, those wolves are still alive, right? Do that, and then. <laughs> Let's keep on going. How am I going to do this? There is another one of these. Oh, a catapult. Great. Fun. One of these graves, and this is a grave. Wearing in war, rat against glory. Burns as red as his hair. Oh, uh, that? Are they okay? That's worrying. This was just a dragonfly. Okay. It's poison curing if you like it. Another great dragonfly head. Nice. It's over here. Oh, a rune arc, not bad. And it weeds around where we were before, but this fire monk encampment is interesting. One of those scarabs. I guess I'll just take it down anyway, just for fun. Don't really need to, but we stack it. Get it away from here. <laughs> oh well rock moment. Hmm. 
I, quite frankly, I get the impression that the Crocs might have had something to do with that situation. They don't tend to offer the most stable of footholds. And, oh, another, another rune arc. Okay, I'll take it. Mm hmm. So, bud. And then, and then, and then. Mm hmm. So, this would be a pathway up to the Frenzy Flame Village. But. A mountain goat? I thought you were a goblin. Oh, that knocked me off, but it actually didn't do all that much damage. It's interesting. Uh, okay. So we can just... Oh, and it killed a goat. Fun. Goblin goat. Goblin goat hybrid. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. That is... Surprisingly hard to deal with. Okay, cool. And one, two. I need to make sure I'm pretty much always at full health so I don't get... Knocked down. Oh, there was another catapult over there. Hello, then. Hi. Where can I go to? So we're too close for it to actually hit us, which is good. And then there is a fire tank and another cuckoo knight. So let's just get in from the side. And hello, then. Hi. One, two, and go over for the critical or wait, what do we? Okay, never mind, never mind. I, okay, alright. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Hmm, how are we gonna make this work? I, and this thing is kind of horrible. Can actually get a funny little... Oh, come on, can I... Oh, please. All right, okay, alright. Great, great, and... Now you're, how do you get up there? Weird. Okay. Stab and... Mmm. Okay. Yeah, there was one over in another part, and they also exist in Kaelid, so you can see them in a number of places. But you have to attack the back is the thing. One, two, and oh my, okay, all right, thanks, can I, oh my, okay, thanks, and okay, nice, nice, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, and can I, ah, okay, well that kind of worked. Mm -hmm. Stab, stab, stab. Then, will the fire chariot be separate or... It separate enough. Well, then a short sword, okay. Question is, will they be able to break this catapult down? Sword, sword, tear, damage, powerful, piercing attacks. These are real, only humble attributes. Okay, cool. And it's burning that up. Hmm. And can I get around back? I can kinda. Come on, come on, and... Mm -hmm. If you can get on top of them, they actually can... Oh, okay. One, two, alright. Yeah. If you can get... Yeah, I do. Doesn't mean I like it. Oh, we got another one of the... Uh-huh. One of these. We're in a pretty good position, smithing stone-wise, actually. Mickle's Lily... Get in your daytime, too. But I... Fire chariots. If you can do a plunging attack on them, they will just explode. And instantly be defeated. But to do that, you really need to sneak up on them and have terrain that makes it possible. So, it's not something I can really actually rely on being able to do. It couldn't make things worse. I think some of it might be having moved some things around in that corner. Because the corner itself is pretty dusty. Honestly, I think... I'm just gonna do... Some well-needed room cleanup after I get off today. And that could hopefully help things. We'll see. Anyone else, or...? Something over here and a scarab somewhere. What is this? This is the Great Mace. Okay, cool. And stab. Stab. And can I... Alright. Thanks. And the horse is dead. Sad. A little. Okay. 
One, two, three, four. Nice. Pick that up. Cuckoo Great Shield again. Great mates, yeah, at least you like it. Short protrusions, a large version of its smaller cousin. All the advantages of smaller bludgeons, speed efficiencies, capable of bringing guards and stances, true choice for simple slugging matches. Huh, okay. Not bad, but don't really need it at the moment. I hear a scarab somewhere and you're right over here well, i think you're gonna be a smithing stone one yeah okay yep they explode no they didn't explode it was actually just an fp1 fair enough have fun tell me all about it you're gonna eat me that's sad okay oh and there's another Got right there, money About the food. That good old Italian food. What? Makes it sound like I'm destroying your heart. If it's onerous, you don't have to, but... What? What? What, what does that have to do with anything? I... Okay? Okay. Oh my goodness, you were weirdly good at dodging. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else in the area, or... So that didn't count as an enemy camp, or... Interesting. Okay. It was... It was just a joke, okay? I swear. It's impossible with these people. Uh... I'm gonna lose it. I'm just losing it. Okay. So where then is... Hmm. Come on. I don't take orders. Enjoy your food. So anything over this way or what? Really flower, mushroom, and... Hmm. Anything over on this side of the lift or... This looks like something of note, maybe. And this is, let's see, where you have a raptor. Huh? Curious. Some kind of, oh, probably this is Raptor of the Miss. And, all right. Silver smithing stone. Oh, no, it's just bats. Okay, cool. Fun. All right. Still not enough for a one hit. Because they saw me. Okay. Hmm. Got a few more of something over here. Hmm. More somber stones, which are honestly better to get. Better and easier to get than the other ones, but that's low. Continue our travels and... Oh, more bats. Fun. I like that, but... Hit. And... Oh my goodness. Okay. And... Oh, well... Okay, and that was good enough. Cool. And we got that back. It's a shame that there's no time window where you can just use a flask and still want to get replenished after hitting an enemy down, but presumably they did it for balance reasons, so. But, you know, this is part of the lift, so you can see. Go over here to the Ruined Strong Precipice, presumably. I think that's where it is. You can get up to the Altus Plateau without even fighting one of, without completing the medallion. Which, in the end, it's... It's not like the medallion is really hard to get, but it's cool that they have other ways to do it. So then, Dragon Wound Grease, but... It's not really all that useful right here. Hmm. Keep on poking around. What else is there to find? It's more Roa than... Any bears? No, just various little animals. And... Hmm. Pick things up this way is going to be the way to the Frenzy Flame Village, but... And I will be going there next, quote-unquote, but... Hook around the area of the lift first. Is there anything down here, or... Just check. No, nothing. Hmm. Just going around a bit over this way and going back. 
Healing up oil. Well, actually, I... I don't really need healing. I've got... Pretty much full flask. But I guess the question is... There's nothing that tells you whether Melina will have... Dialogue at a certain side of grace other than... Actually resting at that side of grace and checking for a prompt. And if there's dialogue, I would prefer to not miss it. So... We'll see. Go on past here. Nothing really over this way. Hmm. This is also not really anything it seems. We got a mace. We cleared out that cuckoo night camp. Yep, they're all deader than dead. How sad for them. And how glad for me. So that's our dead. It's going through here. The Dectus lifts. We'll, oh, but there are also little parts on the side that I may as well check. There might be something there. What well, might be over here? Let's check real quickly. This is nothing. How sad. Old precious item. Nope. Suffering. Uh, yeah. So then, if I try to jump around here, will there be anything or... It does appear like that little top area is off limits, but it does have characteristic Wayndale architecture, which is cool. Golden Capital area. Well, Altus and Wayndale architecture. Collaboratively, I suppose. Well, not collaboratively, collectively, but... Hmm. Let's continue poking around and looking. But yeah, it... I can't actually get to the top of that, it seems, which is sad. What if... It'd be funny if that was an illusory wall. Unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately, because if that was an illusory wall and there was something good behind it, I'm sure that a lot of people would just miss it. So maybe in a utilitarian sense. Wouldn't consider myself a utilitarian wall. Not too fond of it. So in that case, let's check something. Oh, yep, we can talk to Melanie here. Hello there, hello. Goes and go here as well, sure, I'm sure. Word, you got resolve choices of thine. With the order, and divest myself of it. Powerless upstart. Huh. Very authoritarian. So the fire that we'll use, let's actually... What do we want to put in? The electrify armament and... Try own bolt. We got lightning spear, own bolt. Let's check. Can be charged for increased power and range. There we go, and that's basically Great Lightning Spear anyway, and it has a lightning strike at the point of impact when you charge it, which is cool. Talk. There's somewhere, another path leading back to the foot of the Erd Tree Ancient Tunnel. Somewhere isn't over this way, right here. Pointing almost directly at it. It's interesting that he said that, honestly. Try own bolt then. See if it works. How much it might work against a bike. That. Mm -mm. Yeah, cool. Use that, and there we go. We can use it now. And. Oh, nice! Once you've got one down, you can just keep zapping. Which is quite good. Quite crazy, frankly. This is. It's the zapper. Definitely the zapper. So then, in that case, I think I actually will take off. Which, if I arm in in favor of something else, just so that when I fight Vike, I don't have to worry about the possibility of dying. And if I. That takes a lot more. Actually, a mm, point of impact, though. I'm even gonna try that out once. Since I could use it with proper flask usage. Mm -hmm. I could use that, but it would be silly. Mm -hmm. Right now I've got how much faith at base? Actually, 
Could try Frozen Lightning Spear just to be funny. Now let's just check out how all these do. And... Oh, interesting, and it kind of spreads out. Yeah, it's something. Frozen Lightning Spear is kind of just a better version of that. Arguably. Might take a bit longer. I guess the question is, are any of those... Which ones are chargeable? Can't be charged. Repeatedly, repeatedly. Charge it and cause it to strike the point of impact. Impact burst. You can't cast it repeatedly and you can't charge it. Hmm. That might make a bit of a difference. Now we need to actually put on America. Scar suit. We can use that briefly. Cool. And it's at, it is Dragon Colt, but. Or if I wanted to be silly, I could try that on bike. Because it is my strongest option against him. It's the highest damage lightning spell I have. This, it's an interesting concept. That's for sure. Hit him with strongest option as quickly as I can, but it is interesting that you can ride the horse in here. But, can't use this yet. And switch action. And I don't have an action to switch because don't have a medallion to hold up. Fun. This wire ahead. We have wire. Time for jumping. Nope. Not true. Hmm. And behind this. Ah! Ah, bit my tongue. Dang it. Behind this, or it does not seem like it. Mm hmm. Let's see. Big thing is, I'm gonna go down. I've got my frozen lightning spear ready for bike. That should be more than fine. Gotta keep my starlight going. Then we have this little area leading up to Frenzy Flaming Tower and a settlement over here leading up to another church, which will also allow me to... I don't think it has another sacred tier, though, is the thing. But I'll be able to get the fingerprint grape from Vike there, which will mean moving Hyatt's quest line forward, at least getting her to Altus, which is nice. So early flower, and then... Oh, and... Oh, there we go. There's some madness buildup. Get around the other way. Eventually, it'll knock me off my horse is the thing. And can I... Oh, well, all right. Great. I did not expect that to be as brutal as it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knocked me off my horse, but did not actually damage my horse, which is good. And... Oh, Frenzy Flame Rats. My day could have... My day has just gotten so much better. And die. Die. Oh, my... Ooh, all right. Thanks. Hmm, okay. Cool. Frenzy Rats. And... What an idea, really. Frenzy Rats. So we got some flashback from that. Occasionally they'll drop... Rune arcs, but only very occasionally. It's kind of like, honestly, it's almost exactly like how rats and Dark Souls could drop humanities. Is in the original Dark Souls. There we go. And the range was good enough to keep hitting it. Continue the combo semi indefinitely. Mm -hmm. And who is taking damage there? Somebody must be fighting someone else, or maybe just falling off a cliff or something. That works too. Anything over? Well, I thought that might be something. It was not anything. How sad. So, then... I hear a... Oh, it's probably... It's almost definitely that... FP Scarab. Over that way. This was... Hmm. This... Can I? Can't quite get that. Thanks. Let's just go over that 
one ledge and see. Oh, what? Huh? What the hell? This game is wretched sometimes. It's got five billion of you know, too. Take those, I guess. Whatever happens, happens. All there really is to do now is grab my runes back and not fall to my death. Amazing, really. Just absolutely astounding. And it should be around this way. Keep looking and yeah, I find it was really, really weird. I guess it was because I just didn't hit the ground between here and here because this should not be death. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've mentioned it before, but the distance, the height difference between taking no damage and instant death is really, really small in this game because they increased the height that you could fall from without taking damage. They did nothing to the height that would instantly kill you. It's totally unedited, which means that... Leaf, funny leaf. That it just compresses the range where you actually take damage but don't die to just tiny proportions. Which makes things really, really funky sometimes. Well, you know, we got fire. That's fine. Cool. Thanks, and... alright. Oh, but the fire is actually keeping them somewhat still. Somewhat paralyzed. And one, two... Oh, and we got... I think we got a blood loss proc, which is quite nice. If we got... Oh, I think they were building up madness on me by hitting me. If I got somehow... Bitter... <laughs> Oh, but do I have any boluses I could use for this? That's the question. Oh, nice. What if I did it? Mm -mm. Let's go to my crafting and make... Do I have a recipe for anti-madness boluses? Do not have any anti-madness boluses. That's sad. I'm gonna wait for this to go back down a little. Find my way into the Frenzy Flaming Tower, then. And... Poke the guys in there to death. Oh, but I... Do I have madness build up on me? No, they don't see me yet. It's good. And slam one, two, three, die. Yeah, procked hemorrhage as soon as it was already dead. But I, oh, but oh, I think it's physical contact with madness rats. Is okay. Cool. Never mind. Maybe. I oh my. Okay. It's somewhat intermittent, and if I hide behind things, I can make it work. Big thing about it is, if I kill the guys at the top, that madness flame will stop. I kind of rhymed, actually. Did not intend that, but fair enough. Then can I... Mm, mm, one, two, and... Roll back. Hide. Mm -mm. This is... Weirdly tough. Okay. These are covers, so I'm gonna have to look at, look at that god awful thing. And stone two, and. Yep, we're in a spot where. Okay, being right under it works. Oh, but maybe it's like the brain of Mensis and Bloodborne, and that was what was dealing damage to some enemies? Maybe, because it seems to be dealing a bit of damage in addition to just madness buildup. Bird bull. Ooh. Perfect weapons using the shattering target. What else to vote remove, causing appalling damage to the body? Ouch. Another yellow ember, safety ends. Yep, another basically a Shabriri raisin, basically. And then we can get inside the tower, fight these rats, frenzy flaming tower, and oh my okay, alright, cool, thanks. Mm, we're on the right side of the rats, is the thing. And die. Cool. 
So then. So then. So the big rats vanish, the small rats stay. Okay. Alright then. Alright then. So who's all here is the question. Hmm. No, there are enemies in here. Be wary of madness. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's something here. What is this? Oh, Hallow Shabriri. Madding Three Fingers. Madding Shriek. Mass build up and those nearby. Mass build up and target priority. And it also just increases your damage, too, actually, which is good. Gives you a power buff that it doesn't mention. Seeing this is the flame of frenzy, began with Shibiru, the most reviled man in all of history. Because after becoming a slander, he was punished for his slander with the gouging out of his eyes, which is oh wow, okay, cool, nice. Oh, but killed a few of them, and this should be the end of it. Oh well, Madness is here, but they're dead. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. Madness, therefore, time for a rat. Madness, madness, and then madness, oh madness. So the funny frenzy people who are making the big fireball appear are gone now. They will not be coming back, I presume. Oh, and then... Okay, just a yellow ember. Okay. So that is done and dusted, but... Might be a couple more things to try to grab from the... First area. Oh, okay. Well, presumably doing it in cross would only make the situation worse. That is all I'm going to say. Hmm. I will... I will 100% cop to it. I'm a little bit of a Crocs, ain't I? Oh. Well, it... The issue isn't the rubber. The issue is that... Even if the shoe will grip, that doesn't mean you will grip. Because there isn't some sort... There isn't any kind of fastening mechanism. At least not a strong one, besides the... You know, there's that band, but it's not going to do much for you. To make sure the shoe actually stays on your foot. It falls off rather easily. Oh, but if I'd gone down the side way, I could have hopped up behind the Frenzy Flaming Tower. Ah, interesting. Hmm. It... Oh, there we go. Another one. Hmm. I just... Personally, clothes that are too loose or too casual actually make me feel less comfortable. Personally. Um, I'm just weird. But, quite frankly, that was established a long, long time ago. There, well that... No, I can't do much over that way. Yeah. Crazy, too. Mm hmm. Yeah. I would hope so. I would certainly hope. There. And now that we're going to be doing things more or less in order, I think that just popping rune arcs like candy is not going to be an issue. Yeah. I don't blame you. Then we go up over here. This part of that. Tower's over there, the village is over there, and there's some kind of tower here, too. More crazy rats. Hmm. Interesting. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, are you a Levite or something? Can you not wear mixed fibers? Hmm. Okay. Okay. One, two. The damage increases meter at best. Mm -mm. 
I guess it's just getting entirely eaten by their elemental defense. Maybe. I'm joking. I'm entirely joking. Mixed fabrics, at least if they're mixed somewhat homogeneously, should not be causing severe discomfort issues. Presumably. I would think. Then and then. Oh, we got more wolves. Okay, cool. Thanks. Starlight is gone. And thanks. And can I move in? Slash. Fair. Well, what? Fabrics tend to cause you issues then. What tends to be the primary culprit? Oh, and is that is there an ever jail over here? Let me see. It might be. Hmm. Which is when I actually want to go in that village. Oh, there are more catacombs. Oh, they were probably pointing to the. Yeah, he was pointing to the black knife catacombs down there. First off, down. Let me see. Let's leave a nice message. I'll overuse my trolls and use tablets. First off. Wait, what? First off. Down required ahead. Directions. Down. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, it. What, 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 what kind of assumptions were made? What, what insinuations were made? I mean, it is technically the aesthetic. Very technically. Medium load and... Hmm. Let's see. Let's go over this way and I guess we can probably level up once, I think. We'll see. Set of grace. Then level up. No, we need a little bit more. Just a little. Eh. Hmm, let me see. Use a standard golden rune. I. Still not really putting me in level up range. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's just. There was no under immediate understanding of who, who that was. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Well, this, this is the Frenzied Flame Village outskirts. So yeah, that would be the Frenzy Flaming Village. Question is, I know that some of the Frenzied Flame enemies can actually... The guys up top are dead for good. That's good for us. And use Frenzied Flame attacks to break certain objects. But... <laughs> All right then. Fair enough. What? What? I was I was not implying that you were the one insinuating anything. I was wondering about the potential for misunderstanding on their end. If we're talking about trust, if we're talking about trust, oh, you don't know what's coming. Oh and oh rats. Around this way, yep, so it's good to check. Cool. Fun. And slam. Two, three, four, and. Thanks. Well, basically, as in, if they were confused by the name, if so, why? And if there was some sort of remark made instead of just confusion. That's what I was wondering about. Switch and use this. Come on, come on. Take just three eyes of yellow. It's a bad joke. In properties, dangerous intoxication, yada yada yada. Over here, but brutally flower, I guess. How? By being mean to you? That's on you for soul bonding with them so that if you were hurt emotionally. Oh, okay. Fair enough. 
Oh, okay, so there is another tower there, but I don't think it's... I don't think this one is... I don't think this one will have a memory stone, because we got... Something other than a me we got a memory stone from another one, so... And frankly, the wiki did not say there was one over here, so... Presumably not. Bunch of guys in chairs around here. Hope they're having fun. Maybe. And this is, okay, this is just the way down to the Black Knife Catacombs. Okay. So I could get down there if I went down the gravestones, but I do not feel like that. No, I, oh, what is, what is, okay? What in the, what are you? Uh, oh, Royal Revenants. Amazing, okay. Cool, all right. Big thing is, if I cast heal, you all take massive damage. So, can I? And, alright, we killed one. That was good. Yeah, so these guys take damage from healing. From my healing. And, boom. There we go. Good death. Very violent. Otherwise, these guys are really, really annoying, so... Being able to just use healing to kill them is great. Okay, and, alright. And, that did not hit you? Okay, cool. Oh, come on, you... Okay. Cool. There we go, and we need some of that. Okay. This is a big deal. I'm not even sure what... Is that holy damage or what? For hitting crocs? Well, you know, difference in opinion. That's life. I, okay. Well, the big thing is that if you're climbing on things, crocs are going to cause you problems more often than not. Oh my goodness, I need poise. Oh, come on. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Kozu was shorts or comfy and easy to wear. Shorts or comfy and easy to wear type person. Okay. Come on, and just one more heal. I think, well, we got one. We're gonna need to do that one more time. What's interesting is that they do a base amount of 50% of their health plus an additional amount, which means that... At high enough new game percentages, presumably, because it doesn't even scale with your faith, it's just take a set amount of damage, going to percentile plus a bit. Eventually you would need two hills to kill those guns, but eventually at that point I would have faster casting speed and just faster and better healing spells in general, so. And quite frankly, I probably wouldn't come back here anyway. I don't think I'd fight those revenants another time after first playthrough, because... I think there is one, I think, that is a mini-boss somewhere, but other than that, it's just no, reason, no real reason to fight them. It... Well, I guess the big thing is that people's definitions of comfy can differ very significantly from person to person. Because in particular, I... Comfort for clothes for me is largely about being openable, as in having buttons or a zipper, and therefore I can loosen it or tighten it at my leisure, sort of holistically. But, which is why a lot of people like hoodies, but I'm not really a hoodie person, because it's not, to take them off or put them on, you have to put them over your head, and you, know, you can't open them up with buttons or something like that. It's different. There's another... That's covered somewhere. Ah. Sneezy. I think, actually, I might want to... I want my lance. Maybe. Well, the issue is that... Lance is it. What is it at? Plus one, so I can't even get it past plus two. Well, let's just take this troll knight down. Club could be nice, but this is how we're gonna have to do it, I think. Okay. One, and two, and oh, all right, cool. Thanks. And, okay, cool, and these guys are kind of funky, so can I dodge and dodge, cool, and oh, all, all right, thanks. And, can I, mm, what if I, 
slash again and oh okay well the blood loss worked that's good nice cool. hmm. can i break break and cool can i hmm all right it dodge can i uh, uh, can i funky and slam slam oh my goodness of course you got your big old swords hate that and well because he's a, not just a troll but a troll knight he's got <clears throat> the outfit of a knight not productive elite that's nice some of that back and i think here well i think originally in an earlier version of the game i think that guy dropped at giant hunt which is a pretty good ash of war but the question is where's the other knight's cavalry it's cavalry Yurnia North. It's cavalry. Yurnia North. That. It's in. Oh, okay. It's actually pretty close to the deck to slift. Okay. Oh, and it, that one drops Giant Hunt. That would be fun to have. Maybe. It. Just check how much stance damage it deals. Giant Hunt, Elden Ring. Quality Affinity and Giant Hunt. Pierce damage and... 36, so it's actually a bit more than Impaling Thrust, but it doesn't go as far ahead, so it's not as good for... Just slapping it on the weapon and using it for actual fights, so... I might like that specifically for boss fights. Maybe putting it on, <clears throat> putting it on the lance, if anything. But mm -hmm. we'll see. Lance with a bit of lightning, electrify armament on it <clears throat> could be pretty useful. But this is converted fringe tower. Every edition, by the way, and oh, I need you need every edition here again. You've got to be kidding. Okay. Cool. So that will require finding another Glintstone Key for Thops, the wizard guy we saw before, and then getting a gesture from him in exchange for handing him the key, which either way is not something I particularly want to do right now, because, well, I'd have to go in the dungeon, and I'm not really in a state to go in the dungeon right now, so... Yeah, whatever's on top, we'll get that later. Okay. So then, this is Crystal Darts. That's not bad. It's actually pretty good to have. Light it up, 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 light it up, 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 light it up, up. Okay. Never mind. So, anything over here, it does not look like it. Okay, cool. So then, oh, right, there's the Frenzy Flaming Village, and then there. Knight's Cavalry, basically, right over here, I guess. May as well upgrade once and once at least. Is it? Is it the one guy with? You'll get it eventually. The one gray hair guy from the one Barbie Cinderella movie that. I think his name was Preminger or something, if I recall correctly. I I shouldn't know that. Okay. But I know that, for whatever reason, there are a lot of people, or at least were a lot of people simping over him at some point in time. Which is just inherently hilarious. But, you know, great epe is good enough. Let's make this thing stronger. Okay, cool. And that, oh, but I, ooh, I'm tempted. Let's just buff this thing up. Oh, but I, I need more runes. Okay. It. You know, pe people will like what they like. They have that freedom. Back all, no matter. Well, my arms. What about my weapons? Okay. Stone two, smithing stone three. Make that finger seal a little stronger too. Okay. Then, but just this thing is so good. It's so good. Okay. Mariposa. Well, it, 
It's because, in the words of somebody I read on Twitter, you gotta be a little fruity to get girls these days. Hmm. What help? Let me see. According to someone on Twitter, and I quote, you gotta be a little fruity to get girls these days. Take that as you will. So I think I'll just use this anyway. The Lance does have a bit of a bonus multiplier, bonus modifier when you're on horseback, but eh, I'll live. Let's make a nightfall. Fight that guy. I I don't I don't think I, I've never heard people use the word fruity to describe being a lesbian. And beyond even that, tomboy discourse is a danger, dangerous enough ocean that I would prefer not to wade in those waters. At least not right now. Oh, but I, mm, I need to try that again. Come on, come on. Uh, all right. Come over here and we can maybe sneak up. Maybe. He's making sure we can get down. Okay, all right. And can I... Oh, goodness. Okay, cool. And can I move in for a... Oh, all right. I did not want that. Oh, what in the god hand? Okay. Stupid. Yeah. Just please, please take care of yourself, Kozia. Don't die on me. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Let's cavalry. And they. Ah, uh, poise cannot be broken while mounted, so. Where? Killing the horse. Dismount critical. Resummoning the horse resets poise. 20% of basic poise damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. And it cannot be broken while mounted anyway. So in that case, I don't need to use the thrust. I can just be a bit more silly with it. That's fair. Guess the question is. I didn't know that the pile of rocks was on the beach. That's what surprises me. Not in a pleasant way. Hmm. Oh! Now I understand what you meant by that. I may be stupid. Okay. Let's chug that. That's the question is, am I better off fighting this thing on horseback or on foot? Probably on foot. You know, it's been a long time since you said that. You're making me almost nostalgic. Almost. The thing is though, if I... This for a gap poser is really, really good. Okay, I bought... Mm -hmm. Gotta kill that horse. Dodge. Can I move in? Uh, so hard to... Big thing is, horse dies easy. Dodge. Okay, thanks. Can I move in? And, okay, nice. Stop. And... Mm, nice. Stab. Uh, come on. Yeah, horse is dying with relative ease. Poor horse, really. And do Okay, nice. Oh, well, that did not quite work. Thank you, and... Come on, you've got to be kidding. Where are you even going now? Okay. Thanks. Well, I, okay, cool. Nice, and... Okay, alright, not... 
Okay, I thought for a second that the horse had got some health back. It was not the case, which is good. Dodge. Okay, thanks, thanks. And can I stop? And okay, nice. Inch. Oh, please. What song is that? Nice, and dismount critical, which means we can... There we go! That killed. Nice. Cool. There you go. Mm -hmm. Eternal mom friend. It's never gonna stop, huh? So we're giant hunt and a night rider glaive. And that. Mm -hmm. Jab that glaive. Boy, as witty as a bludgeon. It's more strength and dexterity. It's cavalry who ride funeral steeds. Witty slash attacks. Crash and if it was weighty of strength. Powerful even on horseback. And. Things and skills. Giant hut. Confront gigantic foes. Will stand some momentum in a sudden forward upward thrust. And pretty much everything here. It. Maybe. Maybe you need to stand in their way. Maybe, maybe you need to be, maybe you need to be the one who puts up the resistance there, possibly. Not sure. Mm. Mm, well. well, that was presuming you had any problem with it, which does not seem to be the case. Okay. Mm, but blood flame back on and make it daytime again. Mm. Okay. Alright. So in that case, we can just go into the village now. Take the mad villagers out before they swarm me and kill me. It is really just me or them. How sad. First off, item. Behold item. Oh! Oh, nice. Cool. This is... Oh, note the Lord of Frenzied Flame. Beneath the lane tell at the very bottom was our Lord, the Lord of the Frenzy, the three fingers who holds us in thrall. Nomadic merchant, right? And a frenzied one at that. But the connection between. Well, see? See what I said? You, you have to be the one to shut this thing down sometimes if you have a problem with it. You know, they, they can only force you to be their surrogate mother if you let it. How am I the. What? Why is it always my fault? Maybe I really will send the wolves after you. Come on. But you were the one talking about the family situation like it was a problem. I just... Uh, can't win with these people. I swear. Okay. Nothing up here. Hmm. Well, I should use this. Well, for, for one, I'm... Literally older than you. I cannot be. Well, there was there is that one Italian, but I'm I'm not Italian. Okay, I think that's an Italian thing. Having parents who are older who are younger than you. Frenzied's cookbook and that. Clarifying boss has finally gone that and discovered in desperation. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Make one of those just for emergencies. Sure. I have yellow. I have new. Okay. I need to actually learn. I need to learn the Nymph Bath intro so I can just pull that out whenever I feel like it. Because I don't know it enough to actually do it like that. And oh, there are actual knights in here doing god knows what. Are they? Oh, and they're frenzied too. Great. Frenzied Cuckoo Knight. Amazing news. Okay. And more of those faux sorceries. Also, amazing news. If they are using Frenzy Flame Incantations. That is not good news. Okay. And move in and... It's still a good skill. And... Okay. Oh, come on. 
All right. Oh, but they have a sort of a faster version of the Point of Frenzy spell. Interesting. Some of that back, which is good. Hmm. Big thing is going to be if I get the end up there. Shaburi's Woe. That attracts enemies aggression. We could have actually gotten that as a starting gift. Storing blindness in the man whose eyes can gouge out. Corners his mouth are turned in an almost flirtatious manner. I can't believe they added the Lin Manuel Miranda whip bite to Elden Ring. Enemies aggression. The man named Shaburi has his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander. And the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Hmm. So the concept of Flame of Frenzy is basically vengeance that goes too far. It... Some people say it's kind of like antinatalism, and I guess it kind of is, but... Mm -hmm. The big thing is that it's explicitly violently destroying everything, and violently and painfully destroying everything. So it... It's hard to see it as ethical. Definitely tragic, but ethical, no. Who we are, and... Anything else? Hmm. So we might have gotten. Flashback, because that was probably a group of... The frenzied villagers. Hmm. Get up here and get up on the rampart. I think there's probably going to be something if I get up on the rampart. Hmm. It should be... Fine, but got this back as rats are here now. Cool. Anti-rat weapon. Cool. It's a good thing that these things are so close to each other. That the Epe and the Bloodhound Spang are just a couple of ticks away, so I can switch them out pretty easily whenever I need to. I've seen that. What is over there then? There is an FP scarab. On the approach to that church, though, is where Vike will show up. The question for me is... Will there be another set of grace along the way? Because if so, I'd probably like to actually switch out the tier I've got in my flask. And that was... Nothing, presumably. Let me just see, actually. If I... Yeah, it does not seem like that was anything, but I'll try that again. I hear rats, but they're on the other side, so not my concern at the moment. Mm -mm. Okay. All I'm going to say is I will be dead in the cold, hard ground before I call you mom. I have some level of dignity, and also, my mother has it bad enough as is. Okay. Is there anything over on the other ramparts, or... It's interesting that they have broken planks on the upper level. If... If you're going to say you're a mom friend and insist I recognize that with some sort of official status, it may as well be the case. All you're doing is playing the denial game, which is not a game I've ever particularly enjoyed playing. Elden Ring is much better. Mm -mm. So... No, so we're right next to that Frenzy Flaming Tower, but... So this is kind of the edge of where Vyke's old deal would start, so I am not going to proc that yet. I think that's where we should be able to get Frenzied Burst, actually, which would be quite nice. Can I- oh, you went all the way down. Fun. And, come on. Well, it- The best way to make a good bit happen is to take things too seriously. That's what I'll say. Oh, but also, hmm, let me see, Frenzy Burst could also be good, because it's fire damage, but I'll probably just keep that on for regular fire, in that case. So go down there, is the question. Should be... 
What if I go down here? There is an item, but... It was my pain and suffering, too! Come on! Oh, a stone sword key. That's nice. Okay. Wire ahead, and is there anything here? It does not seem like it. Come on! Come on! Okay, I could probably reach that, but there's nothing there, so... No point in it. Mm -mm. Do you think I should try adopting a New York accent? Well, you know, it wasn't a jump with anything behind it, so it is what it is. I don't see any items there, so... But now we have, we have 13 stone sword keys, so we are in a very good position via via that. There should be... I think this is where Frenzied Burst is, which is an I-beam spell, which is pretty fun. Okay, cool, and one, two, and can I, mmm, see all these rats. Come on, stop, and there we go, Frenzied Burst. That's a fun one. It's just, I don't know, for fun, for pleasure. And can I... Mm -mm. But it isn't making a huge difference in terms of damage, at least on the smaller ones. Maybe. I'll think about it. One, two... Mm. More Roa, but Frenzy Burst can use this thing, especially with the Rune Arc out. Banding three fingers, blast at the elf from Frenzy from the caster's eyes, enhance of potency. Then we're going to blast and penetrate on the guard. Every single person who attempted to control the Flame of Frenzy is summed to madness after a desperate internal struggle. This incantation is testament to a meager victory. Alright. So Vike is up there, so just running through should get us to him. Hmm. Also, Miranda Flowers over here, which is nice. Cool. Oh, but what is up with... These ones are... Oh, they explode. Oh, they're Madness Miranda Flowers? Oh, that's crazy. Conceptually, that's ridiculous. Not in a bad way, but really? And they have orange spores instead of green because they build up madness. It's actually pretty cool. Starlight. And then we... Let's throw a bit of extra visibility in here. Can I... There we go. Yeah, the maddening explosion is... Something for sure, and just run, dodge, and... Oh, wow, okay. Weird, weird. Huh. Mm -hmm. What should do, then, is probably try to break you down and kind of... Mm. Oh, what? Huh? That's one heck of an attack. Okay, cool. Slam, and slam down, and... Okay, cool. Still on that side, though, presumably I can... Make that work, maybe? I, okay. Thanks, and will this work? There we go, time for a critical on the flower. And there we go. Oh, and the blood loss worked as well, and any kind of madness explosion. No? Okay, cool. Class back two. Poison Bloom, Miranda Flower, Row of Fruit. There's a graveyard down there as well. Let's see what that might lead to, but. Hmm. So the question is. Some through with this area over here. We went through Ansel. Went up here around this way. We got be able to beat Hyatt's quest line to an extent, but oh, more of those guys. Fun. If we want to be really funny. Maybe we could. Well, we definitely could not get on top of the walking mausoleum, but the big thing is the lake. Hmm. It's all of you right now, I think. But if we use this, we can do good damage and stance break relatively quickly, too. Fun. One. And two. And just another hit. And there we go. And we can be on the right side because they recover from a broken stance, actually, very, very quickly. All right. Mm -mm. Really, it... I don't really use their powder because I don't really use... Perfume arts, but they are fun to kill. And, alright, cool. 
As long as you start running away right after the first hit, you can avoid it's the madness buildup, it seems, which is good. That, okay, just right there. Thank you. Another pointless golden rune. Fix you and dodge. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Probably reapply this. Cool. Maybe use this. If we're going to be using Bloodhound's finesse. Gotta wait for that. To wait, what? Huh? Okay, that. Have something to do with a wind, or it's weird. But I got black flame, but it's not all that good on Miranda's though. Is the thing. So mm -mm. It'd be funny if that was a madness version of that. Okay, one, two, and then one, two, and well, that didn't even hit. Okay, one, and. Two. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. And oh, okay then. Can I slam and did not even get a stance break on the flower that time, but also it's literally a flower. Boom! And I something was here that I was locking onto before, and I my flower slaughtering mission. I guess I'm basically a gardener. I'm pruning these unwanted plants. Mm -hmm. Maybe not maybe not the nicest of gardeners, but you know, if it works, it works. A lot of these guys here. You know, this would actually be a good time for that one. Flame of the Fell God spell, but alas. And just dodge, dodge. Try not to get madness on me. It is an interesting status, because it's basically just Bloodborne Frenzy if it weren't deliberately just something crazy that you always had to avoid. And that... It's fire, right? I think. Okay. Back and can I run in and just dodge the Madness Explosion? Cool. Yeah, but... Oh, but... Okay, so the Holy Attack, those pillars did do Madness build up. Seems to me, at least. But I... Oh, come on. That was annoying. The fire seems to make them sort of thrash up bow. Okay, cool. And just another. Slam and go around front. And cool. Thank you. One. Two. Goodbye. Thank you. Should get... It is nice that they're pretty generous with... Tend to give me back. Flash after that, but... It's not everything. Come on, then. Anything else over here? Trina's Lily, but if I really want to use sleep, I will have access to. I could just go and get St. Trina's Sword from Kaled in mere minutes. And honestly, I should do that sooner or later, because there are a number of enemies that I'd actually want to just... In particular, the Magma Worms, the... Lesser dragon enemies, very, very weak to sleep, and be a very good way to deal with them. Hmm, okay. Frankly, this would be good on the Miranda Flowers. As in, if I'm the Fell God, would probably be good on the Miranda Flowers, too. Maybe, I, okay. Kind of surprised at that proc. And that over there, we got another one of, so we got a bunch of these guys, I, okay. Hmm. Well, all right. Wonder if there's any kind of wind effect there. Probably not. In really, really. You've got to be kidding. Okay. Whatever. Thanks. And dodge. A little bit of that. And just out of the way. And can we? One. Two. And just stay out of the way of that. One. Two. And can we? Slam and move around front for the critical and well that didn't work at all. But we got the bleed finally, so cool. And a flower and more of that. We're basically self-sufficient right now. As in the flasks we get back from each kill are basically getting our way to the next encounter. And dodge, dodge, okay. Question is, what we'll get from all of these when we take them down? Oh my goodness. 
Oh, and there was another giant one. That's great. That's just amazing. Amazing news. And one, two, and can I? I need more tears, right? One, two, and three. Mm, what if I? Mm, but we don't really need that, do we? Well, you're dead now, and just... Oh, well, more madness. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> what an interesting ailment. Amazing. Golden rune. Or is there going to be a cookbook here? Or another golden rune. Die, die. Okay. Can't avoid all the build-up, but at least they're all dead now. Golden rune. I guess... really is just rune gathering. It's fun. At least... It's all about being thorough. All about being thorough. Golden rune. And come on, come on. Give it give it to me. Give it to me. Please, please. Uh Guess I need to just jump on normally. Maybe. Yeah, that worked. Kinda. So back at the start of the village, maybe I can just run through quickly and counter bike. Big thing is like I said, I which do I need for? Let's just check my spells real quick. Inventory, and I just have to check it like this, I think, which is kind of inconvenient. But this is my strongest lightning spell. But actually, all I need to do is equip two fingers arrow in, probably, because I want to do space specifically, so there's no reason to take the extra damage from America's. Hmm. And then. The Faith Shrouding Tree, which I do already have equipped. Get my Faith over the 34. I need to wield it. To cast it, that is. That said, I probably like Lightning Shrouding Cracked Tear. To boost the lightning damage that I do. Maybe, honestly. See what my fire spells are like. If I'm procking. Frostbite with the Ice Lightning. I would probably want some fire spell in there too. Oh, you can see that grass loading. Fire spell in there in order to break. Yeah. Break the frostbite and apply it again for more damage. So then I. Fireball. Don't want that. It wouldn't work all that well. Black Flame is probably going to be my best option then. Well, the closest you're going to get is... This is my best option. Closest you'll get is probably the various sort of maiden type sets. Which are not, aren't bad, but... Let's get our Lightning Shroud and Crystal Seer. Then we... Kind of rush through the village, and... Yeah, should be fine. Let's see burst. Try our frozen lightning spear, maybe. I guess the question is. We could try our own bolt, just to be silly. Italian woof woof. Yeah. Like Tokyo Mew Mew. But Italian. And a dog. Woof woof. Okay. So how then, how then? Hmm, should be around here. Lord Vike, no lord after all. Where is he, our true lord, our lord of frenzied flame? Beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. May chaos take the world. So around here, he should... Yep, okay. Switch out to Two Fingers Heirloom, and then we'll... Just this. I guess we'll try own bolt. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you're dead. Try not to do that in the future. And, okay, well that, this is good. It's actually quite good, and I cannot slam down it. Okay, cool. Hmm, this is good. This is strong. And just, all right, we have a good amount of poise there, too, so I, and slam, oh, well, I, oh, what in the goddamn? Oh, okay, yeah, so I, the casting speed is just too slow. He's just too fast. 
Shit. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be own bolt then. There's really no way around it. But I... Mm -hmm. I know there are spots where you can actually buy rune arcs from certain merchants. That might be a good idea. Big thing is... With my build, using the rune effect is actually pretty nice. It's not something I can just ignore. <laughs> but the Godric, I mean the Grafted Blade stuff is a little awkward because of how... Come on. I don't have the strength for it yet, and it only lasts a minute. So, one, two, thanks. Mm -hmm. Can I... Alright. And can I... I should probably use... Oh my, okay. Alright. Thanks. Cool, and... Oh, what in the... Okay, I... Own Bolt's not all that good. It doesn't stun him. It's time for a last... Last Runa. I... Whenever I fight enemies like that... I'm gonna... Let myself skirmish. Things that rely on enemies sitting still are not going to work against mobile enemies like that. They're just not going to. Hmm. It... I should stick to using relatively safe options, given that... I am using rune arcs. And they are, you know, to an extent limited. I can't just toss them around cheaply, even if... By the way, charging up, the Lightning Spear should keep him at bay relatively. Big thing is that my range capabilities are about the same as his, so if I hit first... Also, if he's just using range, he can't really kill me, is the thing. He can't really kill me with range alone. Okay. And just... Can I... Oh, right, we need Lightning Spear. Cool. And, okay, nice. All right. Hmm, just cannot. Cool, and yep, they don't dodge. They don't dodge. Exciting. And yeah, oh, oh wow, mid-air. That was brutal. Okay, and take that. Oh, well, you dodge that? Okay, fair enough. Go ahead, and oh, okay. I need to, oh my goodness, that's not fun. I, uh, the annoying thing is the madness to build up on the here. I honestly up right that's punishable and oh you jumped over it you actually avoided that okay cool he actually uses lightning too is the thing that's funny and a waiter encounter is this guy's actually kind of a mascot for the game kinda in that mm, mm, not great and can I and boom no more Vike. Cool. We got his fingerprint grape for Hyena. Cool. Fingerprint grape and Vike's War Spear. Fun. High Bolt, the Night Vike, and Flame Yellow. Seared with a repulsive fingerprint burn akin to those that marred his entire body. Offered to the Blind Maiden. Read her the source of the distant light, allowing her to become a Finger Maiden. Singed and boistered by fingers, used by Vike, Knight of the Round Table Hold, like Vike himself, been tormented by the yellow flame of frenzy from within. We forwards, maddening explosion, enemy and user with madness, which makes it better for PvP, frankly. This is a good weapon, but it really orients itself around a specific sort of dex faith build, which is not what I'm running. I'm not running anything res remotely resembling a focus build. So then. Okay, cool. Feel free to eat. I am not of a mind to stop you. Nor should I be. Let's go to the top here, and then... Other stuff in Leonia. 
Shouldn't be much. Well, it's then over this way. I think I'll explore. I'll look around this little shore area. So you got to the average hill, but avoided the rest. And then, from that, I suppose, be about exploring the lake proper. Actual lake area, and then going up to Karia Manor. And then I can. Karia Manor, and then the actual dungeon is the order I want to go about things. It's cool I can hear a little sort of crackling lightning. Well, crackling electricity sound effect when you've got the lightning shrouding tier active. I wonder what the others specifically would be. Should definitely use those from now on. They are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Stat bonuses are also useful, but at this point, I wouldn't. I'm not even really hitting soft caps, but it's not about hitting the benchmarks. I need to actually use spells. I don't really need it all that much. And then we sacred tier. And okay, and a dead maiden. Finger maiden fillet. Robe and shoes. That, where we can get the blood of one for the sake of likes, I mean, Barre's quest. Sure, the two fingers, chosen Tarnus, guidance, and wisdom of the two fingers, ensure that the pair be brought together. We, such was the promise long ago. Okay, cool. So then, let us level up our flask a bit more. We are reaching the point of diminishing returns. So, a 7. Nice. We've gotten 7 out of 12 of the tiers we need. In that case, we. Some things we could buy. For one, we can go to Hayata over here and give her the fingerprint grave, which will basically get her nearly to the end of her quest line. So. <laughs> The point where you can become the Lord of Frenzied Flame. Fingers, donate one, my go mad, here you go. Tried and true, wondrous thing. How sweet, yet how it burns. Impose myself again, blessing of the fingers be upon you. Alright. Bottom of my heart, be a finger maiden. Hmm. Question is, what else does she have to say? I think I missed something. Hayata. That. A fingerprint grape. That's the only part of the dog I missed, just for confirming it. Okay. Hmm. And now she's gone. She's gone. Oh, hey. Okay. I feel like. I feel like Hollow Notes. Hmm. Maybe I'll get. All the way right up to Karia Manor, and then back out, maybe. Also, the village of the Albanoric should be down here, too. It's also important. But, let's go over to this Everjail. All factors, Everjail. We're in an okay position, but actually we could buy some things from a couple more items to buy from the maiden, the twin maiden husks over this way. I wonder if you might have something to say about Ronnie. Nothing about Ronnie. Okay, cool. So then over at the maiden husks, let's see, purchase an oh, a couple. That's good. It's of a cooperator, host of fingers, they're talismans, so we may as well get them. Implements to deceive invaders. Damage negation, thin iron plate. Maybe we could just get two of those. I won't get replenished, but. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's go back up here. We've already beaten Aiden in the Ever Jail, so. That's alright. It's not a problem. Figure out how to jump back up here. Managed it once, so shouldn't be that bad a second time. 
course, I could just get around the other way without problems. Not skipping all that much, but it's a more convenient way to get to where I want to go, presumably. <clears throat> Let's see. One, and... Okay, we managed it. Cool. Oh, my goodness. Uh, if I'm over there, I should actually just use... And... Okay, yeah, use that. Dismount over there. Get off. Yeah, okay. So in that case, I will. You can get over on that wedge. Yeah, okay. Then we go up there, and this should be it. Yeah. And that is the other way around, the same place. This ever jail. Again, not that it gives me early access to anything, because you could have just gone around the other way, but... And, of course, there's also a spirit spring right here. But it was mildly more convenient to show off a funny trick jump, so... You know, if I get to show off, it's a, it's a good day. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. See how this works. I Ooh, that's close. That over there, I think that's... Is that Roads and... That is not Roads and Catacombs. There might be Catacombs there, but it's... Roads and is over on the west side, which is over there. Let's see, more sites of grains, and that... There is not one I have yet. Well, we'll get it eventually. Presumably. Can't imagine it would disappear on me, but... Oh, we got more... Vulgar Militia Men. Okay, cool. Question is, are they weak to slash or piercing more? By the way, this thing has been upgraded to a pretty crazy degree, so I... Okay, well, alright. I think slashing might actually be a bit better, I'm not sure. Well, huh. One, two. Still the funny smoke bomb. Hmm. Big thing is that actually having one gone is a good way to tell when... Certain enemies disappear. Freshly singed battlegrounds are fusing with the stench of the dead, forbidden lands, which is an actual area they're in. The forbidden lands, excised from the memory of history. We meet in filthy militiamen, and the vulgar militia serves and towering unsung watchkeepers. But the question is who is hiring them? Presumably, I don't know, someone Golden Order affiliated, or, or what? I don't even know. Mm -mm, but. A couple more of you in here. Oh, but normally you would walk away to the upper jail. And, oh, yeah, you definitely expect me to come from the other side if you're throwing things automatically in that direction without even any real consideration. Okay, and they're so short, I can't even poke at them right. It's insane. And then we have another. Cool, and just... So the running heavy works... Wanders there. Good. So then, nothing there, so it seems. If we pass this a little bit, of course, you know, multiple ways to skip this part, so. And that is, seems like a camp of fire monks. I think that might actually be where their prayer book is. Not quite sure. An eye, golden rune, and. Eventually you can. There are places to farm rune arcs in particular. From rats, but... Can I... Mm, run in and just... We are really doing the Laurel and Hardy here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Die. Die! Come on. I, okay. Cool. And just run in. Well, we didn't actually have the running attack there. We needed a bit more of a head start. And we got the gauntlets. Be funny to wear the short person set. And then. It is interesting that in all the years since Demon Souls, the actual size of From Software protagonists has remained relatively constant to the point that I think Sekiro himself was actually. Well, I mean, Wolf, if you want to call him that, if you're silly. Was also, you know, the same height as From Software protagonists because they use the same rig. And that, okay. Hmm, alright, and stab and, oh, come on, okay. Funky, I really need to focus on these stone sorcerers then. And, well, with 
of our bonuses and buffs, we actually got the ability to one-tap them with a weapon art, which is quite nice. I, mm, can we? And... Mm, cool. Stab it. Dodge. Oh, my. Okay. Cool. What in the... Do, oh, what? What in the goddamn? Okay. That was painful. And embarrassing. Who's sake take America? I need an AoE that I can use just whenever I feel like it that doesn't suck. And I think that is probably way too much to ask for. Sadly. Hmm. And you can... And down here, can I... Can get that working. Oh, oh my. Okay. No, I can do this. Then up... What? Okay. Gotta be kidding. And up again. Pass the vulgar militiaman. Run past him. Take out those awful thorn sorcerers. <laughs> Honestly, I... I don't really need neat rune arcs, is the thing. And Did I see the ones over here before, or am I... Am I losing my mind? Thanks, thanks. Oh, huh? Wait, oh, there was another. Okay, fine. Please don't... Oh my goodness. What? But those guys killed me, I swear. Fun? Not really. And... Die. And... Okay. Now that ball and chain is actually vile. Can I... What in the... Really? Really? Okay. One, two... Big thing is just it's hard to hit with this a lot of the time. And one that sort of upwards poke was actually pretty good, but <clears throat> knowing, annoying, annoying, I probably should stop using my runok so profligately. And run in and use. That unless I miss entirely somehow, which is Insane. I let's just use this right now so I can you know tell when more show up well, when I've killed them all. That was a group in its own. Got a lot of groups, weirdly enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we at least I can use these to Well actually if I use Starlight I could be doing that. Well it's too late now. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Try this again. That is pretty helpful. One, two. Should be another past here. There you are. Oh, come on. Die and... Is that it? That did not seem to be it. I want to get rid of every last one of you. Little rat men. I genuinely despise you guys. You almost killed me, and that is unforgivable. Should be a couple more around. <coughs> a couple more around here. Oh my goodness, a little bit of salty cracker is stuck in my throat. That's embarrassing. Well, I, oh, well, if they hadn't seen me, it would have been a one-hit kill, but they saw me, so it wasn't. Cool. Oh, ballista bolts. It's not really new, but so good. What in that case is over this way? Hmm. And we will. Hmm. Go over. Get my runes back. Kill these obnoxious dudes. Well, okay. Thank you. Then, as long as you stay away, we'll be good. And oh, Okay, come on. Fire's kind of the crazy part. Honestly, and thanks, and all right, set away that fire and kill this guy. Play the monk, and well, not like that. Cool. Wait, what? How did? Okay, bizarre. How did that miss? Okay, cool. It's just the way in which these can miss is actually kind of insane. 
And hit and critical. Thank you. Enjoy path. Thanks. So if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, might be able to get the Fire Monk's Prayer Book here, which would mean a couple more pretty good spells. And nice. Can we one, two, and there we are, and what can I really, really, really I okay. Hate this guy. With a fiery passion, fun brother. Come on, you. Die. Then is that that was the end of that group, it seems. This should probably be their prayer book. Yeah, there we go, cool. Incantations of the fire monks from the mountaintops of the giants, part of the north. O Flame and Surge O Flame and O Flame I mean Surge O Flame sucks. O Flame is arguably sort of a more damaging, slower. Ooh, it's higher consuming, higher FP consumption. Side grade to catch flame? I think I might be able to get some good use out of it anyway. Which means we can just go and give it to Corin. Try to buy some more incantations and I see bats. I don't like that. Don't like bat. I let's try the frenzied burst. Actually, I'd equip my glintstone stuff so I. Oh, I okay. Well, the madness buildup is actually negligible, which is good. So there we are. And okay, cool. I all right. And surprising amount of time to cast. Thanks, and, well, even if you see me, and even if it isn't charged, it is a one-hit kill. Exciting. Good stuff. This is actually probably a better sniping spell than any of the glintstone shards that I have. <laughs> Just sad. Well, it, this is, Elden Ring is a faith build game. Undeniably. If you run intelligence, they call you a brainlet and laugh at you. Mm -hmm. If you were really intelligent, you wouldn't build it. Then we... Let's try this out. See if we can hit and... Good damage, but it's not as instant, so the tracking would not be as reliable as the thing. Go over, buy a few more Fire Monk incantations. This is, yeah, be part of that shore before. Okay, cool, so, but all I wanted to explore over that way, and I think actually going over a bit south of Caria Manor could work well, but that over there I think is the village of the Albanorix, so. Stake right there, which is interesting. I don't think that would really require it, but you know, that's life. For that relatively small fire monk encampment, but I guess given that it's re still a relatively early game, they wanted to be kind of lenient. Tent in Fire Monk's Prayer Book to Cory Boy. Prayer Book and Work of Heresy, and he says that about pretty much everything. That one flame from hand it enhances potency. Just northern mount up, and the fire monks are its guardians. That will be relevant eventually. Fire to burn the area, flame of ruin capable of burning the urge tree. War against the giants, ruinous blaze was sealed. Guardians were appointed to watch over it. I, you know, may as well use those runes now and buy them. Slowly heavy damage, reducing AP. It's help me. Fashion to avoid such an event. And... Is it another one of those? Okay. Let's buy the next incantation. Study and your enthusiasm. Alright, cool. So in that case, we will simply... Move over here, I presume, by the converted tower. Working our way around this part. Before Belfries, there's also... I could just go to Rhodes End Catacombs right now. Pretty sure that there's a pair of burial watchdogs at the end. 
I think that would mean using crystal darts on them. Hmm. Check. Oh. Oh, were you not? Were you not on your Wi-Fi? Okay. Well, don't die. Just checking. I haven't really seen these yet. Oh, that, that's tragic. Sorry to hear that, that's sad. The month is almost over, right? Right? That should help, I hope. Let's see. Mirage Rise. It's checking. Where are they? Roads and Catacombs. An optional boss here. Oh, cool. Muscle? Wait. Do you mean tendons? Or... So the only boss is secret. Okay. The second. Okay. The tooth. Tooth. Hero's Grave. Sealed Tunnel. Celia Hideaway. Three Sisters. Volcano Manor. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm not gonna get on your case about English not being your first language. Wait, so meat is muscle, so do you mean do you mean lean meat or I'm sorry I don't quite follow. Village Club, okay, cool. Let's go down, cast our starlight. Should equip a heavy club, presumably, depending on what enemies are in here. Let's see. What spells do I have right now? Got which play armament might be good, I think. Who knows? Check the spirit collar snail. It's okay. That's life. So slash and lightning are good against them. Could be. I own bolt kind of sucks actually. These are okay. Actually, let me try these out briefly. Oh flame, which is just catch flame, but a bit better. So charge it. Ah, nice. Fair. What a place. Let's remove fire and let me. And we can just flame throw. It's not that good. Okay. It's an interesting idea, and you can make it strong with flat damage additions. And who is it? Who is that? Hmm. Because I don't need two fire spells now. It's weapon buffs, relevant weapon buffs, and then probably just in case some kind of magic damage spell we'll take the rake once i'm sure hmm. i huh 150 that's good and i worry of right hmm. use this and then we oh yep imps great amazing news to Okay. Might like Radagon still. Oh, okay, but... So then why is he the one who speaks it properly? That's interesting. Oh, okay, so it's a contrast thing. Okay. Then... Any more over here? And... Got these roots, but no, it doesn't seem to be beast eye stuff. And we don't see the door is the thing. Heavy doors are open, but who knows where. Hmm. A lot of illusory walls here. And seem to be odd ones out. Yep, okay, cool. And can I... Alright, thanks. And Oh my... Okay, alright. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. One. Two. Die. So then... Go Sklavort. Door ahead. Rune arc. Oh, nice. That was really good again. There and... Hmm. 
Let's refresh our Starlight. Oh, I should... Bestial Vitality. That's what I should have. Hmm. And more of this, and is anyone else coming over? Or throwing knives at me? That's what's happening. Thanks, and slam. And I didn't actually want that, but fine. Fair enough. Okay. And is this one of these going to be a illusory wall? Yeah, okay, cool. Then we... Thanks, slam. Slam, and... Another one. Okay, it's right there. Okay, cool. Slam down, hit again. Oh, well, we got a backstab. Did not want that either. Okay. Then we... Human Bone Shard. Watchdog Staff. Okay. That... Why do we go soon? Urge your barrel watchdogs to protect catacombs. Bad and broken over their lengthy tenure. Rule the catacombs are even set to command the imps. Genotic in the Glitzone. Activate ancient sorcery. Floating magic projectiles that chase enemies automatically. There's no intelligence scaling, so that magic damage is based off of weapon upgrade level and, I guess, talismans that boost skill damage. So, there are some people who have done really funny challenge runs where they do magic only, and it's just the magic of that weapon art. No intelligence, just strength. And the weapon does it for you. Okay. Let's keep on moving, and this is... Hidden Path Ahead. Root Resin. There we are. Cool. How much else in this? Ooh. Secret Passage Ahead. Try attacking. Secret Passage Ahead. And then, oh, and here is our... Okay, cool. Here's our way in. Collar Snail in Road's End. Resummon if it dies. Second one... Willing or Dovis is great sword, but you know, we don't need to bother with fighting the Crucible Knights. We can just kill it with lightning. And that'll be a okay. Running on our Bloodhound's fan. This is going to be more than fine, hopefully. Electrify Armament. Oh well we should have right used this first. Actually, oh, if I had dexterity, I might have wanted that, but... Hmm, this should be okay. This one is for all the marbles. Like this, and a... Funny snail. And you're summoning. Crucible, oh, alright, I did not expect that. Cool. Fun. Where's the snail? Where is the snail? I, okay. Well, presumably it's invisible somewhere, so... Okay. I do not feel like fighting. Fighting it fair and square. So, can we slam? Okay, alright, fine. Big thing is just making sure we know where to hit it. And, okay, nice. This is a hide and seek boss. Gotta figure out where the. And one more. Now we. It's gotta dodge. And, okay, cool. And, can we die, die? And, there we go, cool. And, the Crucible Knight is gone as well. There we go, Gwinston Sorcerer Ashes. Cool. Anything else here, or not the twin saint, just the normal Gwentstone sorcerer. Lavacaria sorcerer, wearing its stone ground, so scholar, the all of Venus Inspectus, mastered the use of the Gwentstone star sorcery. Hmm. So, in that case, yes, we can go through the rest of the dungeon now that we've killed that boss. Cool. So, let me. Heal up a little so things don't kill me. Cast another Starlight real quick. Yeah. Incantations just outclass sorceries by so much. It's not even funny. It's just sad. Go down here and... don't think there should be any more illusory walls to deal with. Here we have left and... Is that a... Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Okay. Did not see that coming. Oh, there's a- oh, okay. Arrow trap. Cool. And jump it. Ugh. Not the top of that. Thank you. Slam. And we weren't close enough to get the repost, which is actually good, because I did not want to get the repost off. For some time, it will generate the trap. In that case, we will keep moving. Grave glove wart. And 
Unless I just then try lever. Lever? Hmm? I think because the torch looked like a lever. Secret ahead, and yes. There we are, and some imps probably once they're gonna drop down and try to backstab me, so left and then right. Hello. Hi, hello, and it's cool. Can I Oh well, alright. Interesting. We Having Bestial Vitality on here is going to be It's just such a good HP regen spell, I really need to have it. So then this will be Fork Tatchet already have a billion of those. Let me kill you. Then Thank you. Alright. Glintstone Firefly. Oh, interesting. So maybe they're powered by Glintstone? Maybe. In the path and no. Okay. What's in here? Oh, Ryalicaria Soldier Ashes. Isn't that? Ryalicaria Soldiers, two disposable foot soldiers and their superior knows the cuckoos. Free reign by the academy, wage wars they please, and they were infamous for their rapacious ways. Goodness. It's a shame that there's no way to quickly bail out. Hmm. Let's check. Seven illusory walls. We got... Yeah, we got everything there. Okay. So in that case, we will... Oh, we can just teleport out. Cool. Maybe it's because we... Is it because we killed the boss, or...? I think that even before we killed the boss, we could still freely teleport in. Kuro's grave. French or Kuro's grave. My bad. Hmm. Well... I've got enough runes to buy two more rune arcs from the Twin Maiden Huss. And quite frankly, I would like them. So I think that's what I'll do. I've got enough runes that I can afford to just burn them on things like this. I feel no guilt. Alright. So just go on through here. Around this way and this... Four belfries, and up over this way should be the King's Realm Ruins, which would normally walk off the way to Karia Manor. I guess. There's the lake, and then there's Karia Manor, but the lake is also largely empty. Other than just random crabs and crayfish. So I don't imagine it would take all that long, especially not compared to actual areas with actual encounters over here. Including some pretty brutal mini-bosses, but we'll see. Big thing is, I gotta clear out this area before I go up to Altus so I don't miss some quests or anything. Hmm. Alright. Back to Roads and Catacombs. I guess the big question is, we already got the Memory Stone for... Converted tower, so the question is what would the, the converted fringe tower give if we use the emote? Because we wouldn't be able to skip anything like we did with the other one. The power of horse parkour is somewhat limited there. Radiceal is still actually pretty good. As the boss. I it's still cheap. As a projectile. The other, the Faith, Frenzy Burst is good, but it's more expensive. And frankly, I don't need a Penny Pinch with my FP, but, you know, it's tempting. Did not mean to do that. Thanks. And, thanks. And how many more? Let's see those yet, so. Come on. That down. Very, very good. Oh, and you're right there. Oh, the angle that we can aim that at is actually very, very flexible. That was actually really, really nice. Got some spirit jellyfish over here, which... Question is... Is this gonna work? I can actually go the one-handed now. And... Alright. Bludging is definitely not it. 
But the question is whether the Epe... Well, the Epe has been upgraded a bit more than my Fang. It's probably the Epe, then. Hmm. We'll see. Let me just re-equip. I actually probably need to... Trade out some of my weapons. Put new ones in, and... Oh, wow! Yeah, that... It's actually crazy. Mm -hmm. In that case, put way down around the moderate tree. Some stuff over here that I didn't quite see. Go up past the shack. Use the shack as our northernmost point at the moment, maybe? I don't even remember what this was. I just ran past it on my way to the belfries up here, which one of those was a teleport back to. Chapel of Anticipation, which was nice. It was nice to go back there, and the fact that there, are, that there aren't any sites of grace there is actually kind of interesting. It means that the, you don't get any sites of grace until you go to a stranded graveyard, no matter what. But this little rectangular island, plateau, whatever, up here is kind of late game. Well, Like I said, I could get there before I even leave Lyurnia, but it would get me to fail. I would have to give up on Selyavis' questline, and Selyavis is profoundly unpleasant, but he gives me a really good charm if I pretend to help him out, basically. Mm -hmm. He can get his just desserts at the end... While well, we can also just get our charm, so. Nothing really missed there. Come on, then. Oh, goodness. Luckily, this is. These octopuses are really easy to take down now. Not, oh, well, interest. Okay. Can I stab? The, oh, my. Okay. Oh, well. The damage dealt is just barely anything, though. Okay. Stab the tentacles. And, Going for a critical. And there we are. Got one more time. Cool. Thanks. Really, really easy to stagger as long as you hit the beak. Okay. And octopus are over in a strip of white flesh. Question is Does the shoreline connect the area up top? Does it link back together or. Yeah, it went back together. Okay. Mm -mm. Well then. Well then. I Okay. Cool. Let's do that and... Oh, well, not quite. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I need... What? What? Huh? That was really stupid. Big thing again. I, I need to switch and back to that out. Right. Special vitality has... Mm hmm Well, I could go there, but I could also just go here. I'll just go here. Splatality has no connection to my faith. It's just healing. Slowly over time. That. What can I really afford to part with right now? Honestly, this. Eh, yeah, okay. Well. I guess the question is, am I better off using a lightning on my armament, or... I'm better off using it on my armament, honestly. Use our... Vestral Vitality. Hmm. Cool. Now we may as well. And it... The amount of focus we get from that... I mean, the amount of focus points we get from that, the amount of health we get from that, the everything we get from that. And of course, if I use one that just gave me more health and stamina as its effect, well, that would work even better, but. Eh. Keep on moving, and. The fact that these guys are backstabbable is actually really funny. I don't have any organs. Doesn't even make sense. Okay, cool, and. Mm. You would honestly kind of think that would be 
heavily resistant to piercing damage, too. Anything, since they're made of wood, probably give just a standard, because it's basically chopping. Point that its icon in this game is literally an axe. The icon for standard damage is literally an axe, but. And just. Oh my goodness, okay. Move in and. Okay, that still won't. One tap, but. It's pretty good, so. One, two, and. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Cool. And. Alright. And. Okay. This is an epic bestial vitality moment. Not enough to justify a flask, but there was no reason to settle for having less than full HP at any time, really. Back down and around. I can get my rune stain back, I would hope. Just letting things tick back up for a bit of healing. Guess we can starlight this up. Thank you, thank you. So then. So then. And yep, we got more guardians around this way. Typical. Oh well. And I. Uh, and it wasn't even two handed, though to be fair, if I call correctly, Ashes of War don't actually take how many hands we're using into account. Which is why. Dexterity scaling can often be better than strength scaling, depending on how much you've got of a given stat. Okay. I didn't even really notice that they had trees growing out of the back of their... Well, of their backs. The back of them. Yeah, best of vitality is still just amazing. Okay, cool. Come on, just do that and can we... Can we oh my goodness. Okay, cool. And poke, poke. There we are. Stab. Well, you know. Basically, I love you, you bastard. That's what it equates to. And one of the things about Japanese is a lovable bastard, if you say so. But as I was saying, my mother studied a little bit of Japanese when she was younger. She's forgotten most of it, but one of the things about Japanese is that it doesn't really have really just defined swear words like a lot of sort of western languages do it's mostly a thing about contacts there's some things that generally tend to be on the looter side oh, okay well there you go but as i was saying i guess it there's some things that are a bit of insulting but few things that are sort of inherently profane. But the big thing is that my mother forgot most of her Japanese. But just some weeks ago she it came up and she started saying jokingly saying Baka Yaro, which I kind of figured it was Pingus. Which is basically calling someone a stupid bastard. And I was just like, Mom, the only thing you know about you remember is calling someone a stupid bastard? We're a weak foe. Okay, well, alright. We'll do it. We'll be wary of the weak foe. Let's see who's in here. Snoopingus usual, I see. Okay. Fair enough. Is it fun? That is. Oh, a bulls carry a knight. Oh, wow, you can just... Okay, cool. Oh, wow, they really just... Alright. Can I... Oh, but... Oh, I did get it off. Good. Fun, so... Oh, wow, okay, and just... Thanks, alright. And... You can stay out of the way, but... 
those things. Now this is really no problem at all. One and oh, can I? I can mm, and just move it and stab it or not? Dodge and stab. There we are. Pickled foot. Rayboid phalanx. Well, if you're if you're trying to say that I like it, then it would be to Amas, presumably. Lindvoid Phalanx, much larger magic limb blades. Karin Royal Family. Defensive arch magic, larger magic limb blades overhead, automatically attack nearby foes, enchanted troll knights, comrades of the young Renal, bound by oath. Okay. It might have been a spelling error on someone's part, but in the end, it's been a while since I had to seriously speak Spanish, so. Oh, another Chanting Winged Dame. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but I think they're weak to lightning, so maybe it might have not been such a good idea to lose my lightning. Whatever. Use my lightning spear. Okay. Then we. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hit. 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 And how about you don't poison me? That's an idea. And ooh, all right. Mm -hmm. We can use one more to kind of turn around or to connect. Well, that that will not quite hit. Trust privileges. Why? How? What misdeed was committed? What could justify that? Huh? Give me more. Give me, uh, uh. Thank you. You have that back. That's good. Oh, and a lot of that back. Okay. Hmm. So that was actually... That was a joke. That was... That fight was a joke. Oh, oh, well... And what was it? Was it supposed to just be basically saying you like... Such and such. Because, yeah, to my knowledge, to my knowledge, the conjugation was a bit off there then. No offense. Okay, well. I do like Pingus memes. They're kind of a classic. It is interesting how they're being brought back semi-ironically. I think, I think, they, des they deserved a bit more time in the spotlight. It... I think a lot of it is also just that a lot of people who are making them are people who do know the original and are sort of imitating the meme style of sort of younger internet people as a joke. Because, you know, there have been... I, I've seen memes where they call Dr. Robotnik Dr. Pingus. And it's... No one does that on accident out of genuine misunderstanding. I didn't say I thought- I didn't say I thought- I said I thought you knew because you would've- You said it was translated for you. Aw, oh, dang it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Whatever happens, happens. Don't push yourself. Okay. Keep on moving. More octobuses. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Right, right, right. I thought you were referring to me in the third person. I mean, in the end, there were anime, anime fans in here, so... It was par for the course. Even worse, Genshin fans. Me. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Alright, alright. Go ahead. Okay, so the head hitbox is actually pretty generous in terms of detection. That's good. Let's continue on our merry way. Oh, we need more and more hit. We need more, more, a couple more hits. Oh, what? okay. Come on, die. Come on, die. Die. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's cast special vitality again. Tonight. Ooh, okay. Come on, you stupid dragonfly. Where are you? I don't see you. Okay. Come on, come on. And still good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Those heads are good for crafting medication, but in the end, it's... <sighs> Sometimes I do run into memory slot issues with spells, but 
Shouldn't make a huge difference in the end. In the end, I'll be able to get Law of Regression, which... It might strip buffs, but it also cures every single status ailment. So I think in the end, I might prefer that to... Just crafting medication again and again and again, and have it constantly do that again and again and again. Yeah, but... I think I can make it up to... At least past the Belfries, maybe to King's Realm Ruins, and then... Karia Manor? I am definitely not going to take on Karia Manor today. It wouldn't take all that long, but it would definitely take at least 30 minutes. I don't want to devote that when I'm definitely not going to get there within 15 minutes, so... So... It... It's the question is, are they weaker to slashing or to... Piercing, because... They look like they're wearing some sort of surcoat, but I can't tell if they have real armor underneath or not. That would determine. It is still kind of funny that piercing damage is probably the best damage type in this game period. Not just among physical damage types, but just out of any. Because it's just anything with any kind of armor or scale is going to be weakest to piercing. And I... It is! Because in Dark Souls, generally speaking, that role was occupied by bludgeoning damage for armor, piercing damage was good for dealing with scaled enemies, which weren't all that common, and dragons were better off using lightning on them, but in this game, dragons are not enemies you want to use lightning on, because they use lightning themselves and therefore resist it, but... Okay. Guess we have to find this guy, too. Piercing is still good against them, and now it's weakening better against armor, because bludgeoning has been folding into something you use against enemies that are actually made of stone, because they added a bunch of golem-type enemies. Well, I... If I destroy their tentacles, the amount of... and kind of attacks they can do will be significantly circumscribed. How did... wait, what? How was I unable to... I'm not gonna question it. You need to break off the... How can I... How am I not actually able to slash them to pieces? I... Okay. Come on! I, okay. Alright. Thank you. Whatever. I... Okay. Stop. And... This is actually really weird. Middle age crisis. Why? At the ripe old age of not old. I... I'd like an explanation on this one. If you... If you please. It... Mm -hmm. To cast special vitality again. It, it is, again, by far the most efficient for FP cost healing spell. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. You're old now. Congrats. There's a starlight. And just keep on checking around. And get to, I think I've been this spot before. Why? Because you go to a lot of baby showers? Hmm. You know, they won't tell you this. Doctors won't tell you this. But actually, you know, when you see those ads that say, one weird trick for such and such. Well, people, people live their lives on different time frames. You don't need to judge yourself by other people's standards. That's a recipe for just being sad all the time. And then... Oh, fair. Americanized families, maybe? But actually, what I could do is go down to the village of Albinorix today. Maybe. Okay. But, either way, just because other people are rushing does not mean you need to speed up. And then we got... Oh, more marionettes. Great. Fun. One, two... Hmm. Oh, oh. Dramatic how? There we go. Die. Cool. Speed on that is good for me. Thanks, thanks. I know I've said it before, but eventually I feel... Oh, Dramatic is in low class. Okay. 
Oh, I feel like you meant dramatic as in sort of, you know, wealthy. Hoity toity. Okay. Because in that case, I think that calling them Americanized would probably be accurate, too. Well, okay, well. Now I'm just getting mixed signals. Hmm. Then. I guess the question is just. Well, to be fair, I guess Jersey Shore people had money. They kind of had to, but. I guess when most people think of trash TV, they don't think of wealth. Well, Italy. Italy is what's confusing to me. Okay, so actually, can do a jump attack, getting right off the horse, and that works very, very well. Cool. Nice. And, oh, well, that didn't work quite. Well, it's true of a lot of places, but... And stop. That dismounting into an attack. That's cool. It's very, very cool. Hmm. Then, then, then. Then we stop and... Okay, nice, nice. Cool. Oh, alright. Thanks, stop and kill. I... I don't really need to be beating these guys. I feel like it will. It's just... The village of the Albanorts is down there too. And question is... I want to take them down. Well, to fight a few Albanorics, but... Big target in there is going to be the Omen Killer enemy, which... I think they're weak to lightning? Maybe. Honestly, I might want to try using Frozen Lightning Spear against them. Because they... I don't remember precisely what they're weak to, but they... Thanks. Well, not if I miss. They are kind of a slower enemy that, at the very least, doesn't really dodge. You can predict them, you can bait them out. They're basically just this game's version of the Capra Demon from Dark Souls 1, so... Interesting. What is, is this anything? Wire ahead. This be a fort. Knight. No. But. I've got to figure out what I need to do to kill the omen killer in the village and then. That might be a good way to close things off. It's possible. Getting into the lake. The lake. It's big, but yeah, it's relatively empty. Well, first, first, you would have to find a Dark Souls player who would get married. Okay. We're all too busy playing Dark Souls. Hmm. Come on, come on. Thank you, thank you. Keep on moving, and just, let's see. Fender Shack and the Catacombs over there. Well, you know, if you want a Souls-themed wedding, you, you do a kind of faux wedding as part of one of the quest lines. In fact, the one that kind of centers on this area, Lyurnia. You have to find a wedding ring, and you end up getting the Moonlight Greatsword as a wedding gift. It's kind of funny. You might have heard about that, actually. About Ronnie. Who actually has four arms, too. Mm -hmm. the, the blue witch. Well, maybe if... Maybe if Miyazaki follows up on what he said in that one interview and actually adds seamless co-op to the game as baseline behavior. Not me. I didn't plan it. It's just base game content. It's, there's an entire ending behind it that more people have gotten than the standard ending. No, seriously. More people have gotten the difficult ending that includes the marriage than just the standard ending of just getting to the end and killing things. But what is interesting is that 
Holy crap, they've got low res terrain over there. They're gonna add that in 2.0? Never mind. But it is interesting that you see stuff off in the distance that you can't quite reach. This might be way to the quote unquote Badlands. Also, is this is this the scenic isle? Might be the scenic isle, in which case there would be a death brute to fight here. Let's just see, and this is Well, there is a scarab and oh what? Huh? Where did you go? Never mind. I Big thing is, if I want to take this thing out, I should probably use Frenzied Burst. Okay, cool. And there we have it. Uh, just some somber smithing stone. Okay. Oh, but they have these scarabs flying over the lake. That's interesting. Go past this cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs ever jail. And then, got our starlight still going. Oh, and wait, oh, did it, did it respawn after we went through the ever jail, or? Did I die to somebody? I must have gotten killed by something stupid, but I'm just confused. Hmm. Okay. Let's just starlight up again. And, hmm. The travel speed is actually kind of annoying, though. The fact that it... Hmm. Said fire is actually probably going to be the better though is the thing. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, kind of sad. Okay. Yeah, and it, the homing is actually crazy good too. Well, not if you go behind a tree. Okay, cool. Let's just charge this up on you. But oh, right, they are weak to lightning if I recall correctly. So. And shoot you down for another, and oh, come on. Can I? I laser, I laser, and die. Okay, cool. Thank you for dying to my eye laser. Call it the die laser. Maybe. Probably not. It sounds stupid. Okay. So then up here again was a teleport, some things. This might be a dungeon. I'm not quite sure. Cardia Manor in the lake. Hmm. It's a big area. That's honestly the biggest thing about it. Well, we are in an okay position. Now. Let's just crush these crayfish. Oh, but I. No, I don't think Bogger is not around. This is not the boil prawn shack. And hit. And another one, and. There we are, so two of those will make it work, and just one, two, and oh, alright, can we slam again for, oh, well, mm -hmm. time that batter, we can make it work, but, okay, giant crayfish, go ahead, do your thing, thanks, and, cool, slam, and run around front, thanks, and, Go for the hit and can I okay. Oh I almost missed that. Almost. Thanks and dead. Fun. So what is over in this spot? And must be something behind some of this, I presume. I let's actually just use this to provoke you. It's got a really long sniping range, so. There we are, provoked successfully. Fight you without alerting the others, hopefully. Hi there, hello. Du oh, well, alright, not good. Mm -mm. Thanks. And, du oh, dodge. Du what? What? Huh? I'm a what in the. What? What? Okay. Oh, I. Okay, alright, and. You get around behind you. Thanks, and just. Mm -mm. Dodge. Dodge. And can I. Mm -mm. We got. What? Ah. Uh. Hate, hate, hate. Alright. Finding these guys legit is the big thing is make sure they get stuck in the Okay, cool, can I And stomp Stomp it okay, just dodge and can I do oh what uh huh? huh? Okay, I hate this. Actually hate this guy. 
What the fuck? <clears throat> Go jump. What? Oh. It's just if you get in front of them, they actually become insufferable. Like one, two, three, four, and huh. Weird. I dodge it. No. Thanks, thanks, and another one, and can I slam. Good, open you up, and take you down, and well, that didn't quite work. You're too high up to actually hit. Weird, annoying. Okay, can I kill? Die. I'm sorry. If it's any consolation, I should be done soon. It should really give you better Wi-Fi. If they're going to make you live in rural, rural southern Italy, they may as well sweeten the deal. Okay. Human right to Wi-Fi. Well, goblin right. Goblin right to Wi-Fi. That's right. Mm -mm. Well, it... I am incredibly flattered to find out that you used your Wi-Fi for this. I was honestly under the presumption that... I mean, your cellular. Your data. Feel as if... To make it worth it. Well, I mean, yeah, but do you like having no Wi-Fi? Seems to be kind of a package deal. One, two, and can I slam you down? Oh, okay, okay. Fair. Oh, okay. Was it just a difficult month or fair? And this is nothing. The whole dark, thanks. Well, or you just use starlight. Or a torch. Or starlight. Mm -mm. Lots of just... These guys over here, these giant crayfish. Oh, and you can see their egg sacs too, that's fun. And can we... Nice. Break. Break. Run in. Hit. Run. Two, and just, and we, over, and kill again. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. Tablet is a router. That is new and kind of scary. Just, oh, okay, cool, and can I, nice, nice, slam, and can I, stop, and slam up. No, I can't. That won't work. I'm on it. All right. Two. And oh, oh my goodness! You have got to be kidding me. I, okay. Really, really. Okay. All right. What if I just? Mm, come on, you. Insufferable. Okay. Vessel vitality. Oh, but I'm out of tears. Is the thing. I. Honestly, I could probably use a bit of blood flame blade, and a bit of frenzy burst. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Two. Three, and can I slam and dodge? Can we. One. And can I. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, and can I slam it again? And can I hit? No, I can't. Mm hmm. And, oh, what? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding. Gotta be kidding me. I, okay. What in the... Okay. I hate you so much. Okay. Can I roll? Roll and... Can we get to a side of grace before that? Super thing gets me and kills me? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe in a really bad position. Okay. Hmm. What is up with these infuriating crayfish? I don't even know. Okay. We can work our way down from here. Just, if I've got that rune artifact up, I do not want to die and lose it. It would be a profoundly, profound waste. That's the thing. This shoreline is evil, outright vile. Hmm. Well, it seems that something died. Fair enough. Okay. But the omen killer, the omen killer is weak too. Killer. 
Me too. It's actually pretty weak to sleep. Okay. Weak to most things, but also sleep. Can I make a sleep pot? It also has pretty low stance. <laughs> pretty, pretty weak. Let's just see then. If I... Could I craft some sleep pots? Have the recipe for sleep pots? I do, okay. Well, I can make... Let's just make five of these. Okay. This is FP, too. I... I'll go down to the village of Albinorix. Handle things that way. Should be fun. Eventually... St. Sword will almost completely obviate the need for sleep weapons, but it'll sleep anything, but for now this is fine. <laughs> Let's keep our great epe out. Xeracord is... which can I level that? I cannot really level that. Sad. It's still probably going to be my best critical weapon. So we make our way down and I use the sleep pots on there. Crack pots, we have five out of twelve of them currently with something on them. The maximum you can eventually get is twenty. And that's ten ritual pots and I believe the DLC they have hefty pots which you can get ten of as well which are just bigger and slower but Actually, really, really good. What's really funny is that one of the pods you can get is just a pot full of rocks. It's not even, not even anything magical or anything sort of chemical. It's just you fill the big pot with a bunch of big rocks, throw it at something, and yeah. Should be. Oh, there's a. This is a poison swamp. Incredible. Okay. Well, what that means is we avoid 81. Yeah, exactly. Words right out of my mouth. Come on. Now, this area is pretty much completely hidden, which is cool. We'll only find it if you just incessantly poke around the shoreline of the lake. Which, I guess isn't unreasonable, but it's not on the map. Which makes sense, because the people here are hiding. If I don't want that, I really don't want that, actually. Cool, and just cannot... Mm. What if I... Horse jumping attack? There is no horse jumping attack. Sad. And, oh, alright. Thanks. Dodge and... Oh, sleep... Sleep crab. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, right, because these are albinoric crabs. They're not really natural crabs, they. And there's a silvery white because... Oh, what a... okay, corpse. Cool. Fun. They were the products of experiments like the albinoric people who we'll find around here as well. The end of the spot be a short boss encounter and we'll be able to find Nefeli again, which will also be nice. Hear various things. Okay, you can just swing it beneath us to take the crab out. A little crabbo, I guess. And, alright. Yeah, they... I guess the question is, would they drop an Albinoric blood clot, or... They're actually dropping crab eggs. Interesting. I actually didn't really expect that. Given that they are artificial crabs, so I figured that the Albinorix will drop an Albinorix blood clot, which you can use. And, oh, dead corpses. I mean, dead bodies. Dead body is a corpse. Oh, and the, the crabs are eating the corpses. Well, I mean, you know, just scavenging. It's not like they're human. It's not like they have to worry about cannibalism. At least not like that. And... Oh, some kind of mist attack was... whatever. Hmm. Pitiful, really. 
Is that going to say pitiful villain? Suffering. Okay. So in that case, let's continue on our way and cast a bit more light on our surroundings. Mm -hmm. All right. Over here we have smithing stone too with some other crabs. And, oh, can I? Oh, hello there. Oh, because the big thing is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, that was actually damaging me. Okay, cool. These corpses are actually kind of annoying in that sense. Hmm. If you can get hit by their miss attack, then they start becoming a real nuisance, actually. Okay, but... It's not a very good mounted attack. It's kind of bad at hitting things, actually. But this... Underneath some things, then, and I... Okay, cool. Thanks. Two, and just... Dodge. Can I? Thank you, thank you. And actually, fighting these things on horseback is actually good. Maybe I should have been fighting those crayfish on horseback instead of going for stance breaks. I would have been able to much more easily get behind them that way, among other things. Interesting. It... Mounted combat is an interesting concept, but usually isn't all that good or worth it. Okay, now we're underneath. Far underneath. Right underneath. Sort of plateau we'll get to later, actually, which is interesting. Wonder what implications there might be for Village of the Alban Orcs being around this way. Probably none. Okay. So they had to fit it somewhere. Okay. And that's where they fit it. I... That was almost actually a poison proc, which would have been not fun. But it is interesting that as long as you're on the overworld map generally, any kind of poison swamp or rot swamp can be bypassed almost entirely just by using... Thanks. Okay, cool. Thanks. And keep circling. Thanks. And... Oh, goodness. I... All right. Oh, but the sleep mist affected... It's own people. That's something. Alright, sleepy crab. Now we Oh, we got more crab. Okay. Interesting. And oh, the crab got put to sleep too. Funny. And we can... Oh, alright, alright then. And just sort Ooh, okay. Great, great. <laughs> Is that a... Ah, oh, that's stupid. Actually infuriating. Okay. Die. And can I... Mmm... Now that, we should be using the light attacks anyway, because it's not like we can stagger any of the crabs, but... Mm. The heavy attacks, a lack of speed, does impede the process of taking the big crabs down. Mm. Time for more starlight. I think I might hear a... I think I hear bells somewhere. Is there a walking mausoleum on the... Poteau, maybe? Maybe. Mm -mm. It's possible. Lots and lots of Trina's lilies around these sleep crabs, which is interesting for sure. Especially since the Haywood tree is kind of a haven for all the Norks among other things, so. Association with Nicola slash Trina is actually pretty reasonable. This will just stay on the horse, so we don't have to get back on it later. We can just get all these funny flowers for some sleep. They don't respawn, but flower and then praise the crab. I've got more than enough. Let's kind of burn them. And beyond that, eventually, well, for one, I won't need to farm them, even though it will be possible, just because of a sword that will deal very, very good sleep build up very, very easily. Not having to craft any kind of pots or anything. But beyond even that, I just... There's no use conserving stuff like this. Because if you never use it, then you may as well not have had it at all, ever. And up there is... That... Okay, so that, presumably... How'd I get to that? Then, let me see. If I can get there, it might be from top of the plateau? I'm not quite sure. 
just look around again. All these crystal clusters over here, that's interesting. This is the Poison Swamp and the Village of the Albanorix. Eventually. Eventually. This may be. This seems. Maybe. Oh no, it's just we have to use a bridge to get over there. So presumably we just have to go into the village proper. Use the bridge to get over on that side. Probably after fighting. Maybe after fighting the boss? It's possible. Come on. But what is interesting is that after... After you get the item you get at the end of the village, you actually get invaded the next time you go to Round Table Hold, which I think I'll show off. But what's interesting is that once the hold burns down, that invasion can't happen anymore. So there's just no consequence. Which is funny. Anything here? Those look like flowers, but nothing really. Okay. More Roa. Should be all the Norics over here shortly. Soon. Okay. Yeah, we... Underneath. Okay. And we need more light. I think. Should be the area. Secretive. Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. Thanks, and alright. One, two. Uh-huh. Actually, not all that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. Use that pretty. Pretty aggressively. And there we go. Tech grab again. We go around the poison area specifically. Can save the shoreline area for a bit after. See what all is over there. Hmm. Actually, reminds me more than anything of. Sekiro's Poison Swamp, just because of the sort of ruddy brown coloration. Sort of the greenish brown instead of just a pure green or a pure brown. Because in Blight Town, in Dark Souls 1, it was basically just brown. It was just mud that coincidentally made you poisonous. But from, well, Dark Souls 2 didn't have a poison swamp at all, it just a poisonous gas this is the thing. We're actually, we got turned around. Okay. Let's go back over this way. Dark Souls 3 had a number of swamps which were a bit more of a sort of sickly green brown mud. And that I think was sort of the platonic ideal that they carried forward. And there's the other poison swamp in Bloodborne, but I actually don't remember all that much about it, honestly. Because there was just the one and Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. All right, I uh, hate, 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 hate. I need to get on the right side of the crab, the, which is the back side, not the right side. And just to die, die. Okay, cool. Dead crab. And the fact that you get a flask back from killing the crab is good. So it means that I can just use flask against the crabs without having to worry about wasting any. And I. I hear something. I hear this. Okay. And you are, thanks to the end, Val of the Indomitable. That momentary invincibility. That isn't. That's a funny gimmick. It's not good, but it is a funny gimmick. Cool. You can use it to survive certain attacks that you're supposed to just dodge instead of. Dodge instead of block in any kind of way. It's an option, but it is, of course, by far the silliest. But, mm, I'm actually getting turned around. If I kill all the crabs, at least, that does make things simple. I can just wander around freely without having to worry about anything. But I, okay, whatever. Damage they deal is not all that intimidating either. Is this cool? Get a couple more crabs and then zoom with the village. I know I saw at least one more. There's one more crab in here. Okay, it was right over there. Oh, yeah. I'm just pulverizing them. If only I liked crab meat a bit better in the context of Elden Ring. I do like crab cakes a lot, actually. 
been a while since I last had them, but a good crab cake is frankly quite hard to beat. So in that case, I guess, ride out to the very edge of the poison swamp, find a way into the village somewhere. And really just so many crabs. It's fun, but for a while, you know, you have to start asking yourself some questions. Okay. Anything up here, or is this... This might be the actual village. No, no, no. Never mind. And then, time for rot. No, it's time for poison. Therefore, try horse. Yep, exactly, because... Torrent, due to him being a spirit or whatever. Maybe just not wanting to have to manage... The status buildup of Torrent himself is completely immune to this garbage. But I... yeah. Surprisingly. Is a spirit swing or... oh, it's just another crab. Okay, cool. Oh, please, please. One, two, uh, and die. Uh, thanks. Okay. Uh, that, and... Do we get our... Oh, okay, since the death animation of the crab took some time... We actually managed to get our flask back, even though we used one already. I... I dispute that. Well, they don't... Even if they did have feelings, they don't anymore. Because they're dead. I killed them. <laughs> Go over this way. And... <laughs> over here, golden rune. This might be the way up. I see some bridge-like structures. Some housing. Really is just going to be a question how I get up into actual village area. Is this going to be it, or... This is still not it. Okay. Poison bloom, poison bloom. Yes, the crabs are monsters. They're very hard to beat. Well, they were. So I realized that I could and just should use my horse. Get a bit more light in here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is definitely the village. So we can poke around any given side and see. But I think we kind of looped around a bit, but... Mm -hmm. There he is, honestly. It was a little confusing, but I think I realized the way I have to understand it, which is just the village is in the middle and the swamp is all around it, I think. We'll see. Because this is the other side of that crystal field we saw before. And oh, there's a side of grace over here, too. Smithing stone. All right. And okay, cool. Uh, all I'm saying is, if they didn't want to get crushed with a big hunk of wood, they should have gotten out of my way and not had health bars. That is all. So then, I... The big thing is just... The low visibility, even with a light spell up, makes things even more difficult. A little bit. I wonder if... Because I do want to play Monster Hunter eventually. I wonder if there are any... Prominent crab-like enemies. I feel like there have got to be. You know? It's kind of a no-brainer. Just like crabs. Hmm. Yeah, that up there. Got to be the village. Exactly. Especially if you get to see them kill me. Because it is, of course, the only thing that brings you joy in life anymore. Oh, we got... More crab. Hello? Hello? I mm, thought another would show up. Shrimp brains. What did you just call me? And, yeah, because there's that... Fair. I guess... I can't imagine you would be able to even get all that much yield of shrimp brains from shrimp. It's just so tiny. The actual meat of the shrimp is 
so much more abundant. It. Well, you know, yeah. I wonder what it would taste like. Just really concentrated fish flavor, I assume. So then this is... Yeah, this is the village, but I want to go around that center bit a little once again. As I... This is where the funny sleep crabs were. This might be around where the omen killer was. Okay. Sorry, I... I forgot about your families. No asking about shrimp brains after... After 11.57 p.m. roll. Okay. Keep on going. Anything around here? I don't think I've poked around this area quite thoroughly yet. Well, either way, the only thing left is going to be the actual village now, so... Let's go over and... Got my misericord with... Determination. Should be able to... Cut a little path through, kill the omen killer, tuck into Fowley, kill Encha. Chill out there. Oh, okay. Well, exactly. So it violates the shrimp brain rule. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, and. Mm -hmm. oh, they, oh, these Alban orcs are still hostile. Sad. Well, so I guess we'll have to. Get the trusty bloodhound spank out and lay them to rest. Now that, it's so much more damage. It's crazy. Okay. And then is this... Can we talk to you? Oh, Nefeli's right here. Hello. Message. Weather be bigger. That's a good one. It's you. What happened to this village? So I must say my infancy. Murder and pillage unchecked, which is probably how Gideon offered possession of her, actually. My men. Woman grown, can't be undone without justice. Oh. Okay. So, she can, among other things, be a summon for the fight, which... Oh, if I use summons, I would do it. Let me see, well... Mm. Little bit of mercy killing. Misericorde. The, what, the knife I have. Quagot, blood of the Albanorx, made by human hands. Many believe them to lead impure lives untouched by the Urgery's grace. This is why the Hailing Tree is so important to them, but we will be able to get some things here. Mushroom, all the more mushroom. Okay. So the second gen- these are the first generation Albanorx who just are very human and can talk, but they don't really have legs. The second generation Albanorx are the ones who look like frogs. They cannot talk, but they are very physically capable. Marvel tier, again. It's normally good, but I don't really use those. Not gonna be rebirthing. And then... Hmm. Here we got... You oh and a side of grace. Village is done for. Just you old Albus hide well and steal your breath. Ah, but we should probably be able to hear him by way of his breathing, but he'll be hiding the one half of the Haley tree in the Dallin, which we'll need to get to one of the areas later on. Let's poke around here real quick, find Albus. I think there are gonna be some perfumers around here, but over there. I think that might be where the omen killer is, but the boss of this area is going to be a mini boss omen killer. Here to the village. Alright. We are almost done. Mind you. Village of the Albanorix. Cool. Then. This way, up top, and it's going to be where Albus is, where the Omen killer is, or... Yep, and a depraved perfumer. Alright. Can I... Mmm, using fire. That's right. One, two... Mmm, alright. Tough. Mmm, okay. Mm. So if we do it like that, we can slam down and... Okay, kill. Kill. 
Annoying, annoying, annoying. Okay. Budding cave moss and oh, a Nicholas Lily. Fathomable sort required ahead. Forget what they can even do with those. But Albus should be around here. Which the raid on this place is actually ordered by Gideon Offnir, the guy from the hold, in order to get his hands on the Halo Tree Medallion for the whereabouts of some of the other demigods. So this should be our way in. Oh well, how sad. And we... Just like this. Albus over here will pass on the medallion before dying, but there's also an Albinoric woman called Corpse. Ivory Sickle. I didn't even see that. Sickle carried by Age Albinorix, dedication of the Hail Tree, despite never having entered its presence. It's got intelligence scaling and some magic damage. Hi, Albus. I'm not planning on killing you. Hello. Very Scottish. Okay. Now one of them, what a relief. Goodness me. Albin Orc, as you can see. Whole village is finished. Destroyed everything the curse mongers see. The perfumers and the omen killer. Is there what's about them? Look after this medallion. Curse mongers' hands. Secret medallion right. Well, Tenna, give it to her. Well, we'll see what happens when we get it. Awaits this Albin Orc. Key that waits in the city. Cannot make the journey needed to fulfill her purpose. Within my life, movable fate, literally immovable. All Albinorix. Mm -hmm. And that's his end. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we may as well get some well needed vengeance for him. The question is where the Omen Killer is if it's down here or over there. There were a couple of spots that I could hook her stuff in, but all of them are innately hostile. Justifiably so, but still. I huh, get one more level of arcane, which would help a little with using that sleep pot, so. Sure. Okay. Here we are, and a little bit more discovery for. Well, that's worth. Okay. Over here end is this area of snake. And can I fall? Oh, because it's... People are joking because it's like a bit like Metal Gear Solid in the sense that it's a big draw. Big rope bridge. Metal Gear Solid 3. And then we... Albinorc blood clot, and can I go for a vile overhead attack, and then anything else over here, or something over this way, so this is Albinorc sorcerer, presumably? Yeah, so what is this? A crystal sword. That, oh, Halo Tree Secret Medallion. Right, Glen Rift, Grand Rift of Rolled to a hidden path. Secret Medallion depicting the Halo Tree Secret Medallion got the bear to the land of Nicholas Halo Tree. It's the only way to get there. Unlike the Dectus Medallion, there are no alternative pathways. Glen Rift, the Crystal Sword, decent magic damage. True Crystal, impossible for a human. Wreath of Power Magic, Skills of Intelligence. Serial of Crystallians, one quick purpose, safeguard the crystals unto the end, one through deposits. They yearn for the return of their creator who will carve for them new brethren. We actually haven't encountered any Crystallians yet, but we will. Relatively soon. There's also a rotten version of that sword, but it's neither here nor there right now. Go over, fight that omen killer. Fight Ensha, and then... I'll talk to Nefeli, fight Ensha, and then we... Oh, well, alright, you're right there. Just, mm, can I slam down? And we got a scarab over here. Come on, come on. One, two, three. Didn't actually really need that because all of my health lasts were full, but okay. Alright, cool. 
<laughs> Go over. Put this last one out of his misery. And then, yeah. Omen Killer is presumably down here. And we... <laughs> the fight start as soon as we get in the arena. I think. Is this... Young ahead, therefore try something incredible. Let's see. Try Wolf. That should be... Oh, it's just actually... The... Oh, well, there are dogs right there. Fun. Actually, what I could do is... Hit them down from outside. Oh, but there's no fog gate, I think, is the thing. I wonder if Nefali will actually interfere of her own accord then. And then we... And this hit. There we are. Cool. Nice. Omen Killer's not doing anything yet, so... Is it just one dog or multiple is the question. But either way, it's going to be Sleep Pots combined with Determination on... Well, actually, in that case, do I have a... What spells do I have? If I only need to use the Sleep Pots and just get criticals from that, I may as well just electrify my armament. That would be just fine. Get the additional boost, and there we go. Hi, Omen Killer, and... Oh my goodness, alright, fun. And, oh, dogs! Not good. And can we... Oh, good. Okay, cool. It's just... Oh, but you... Oh, that was tough. Is that only a stagger, then? Or... Hmm, I... Alright, fun. Not really. And just... Thanks, and... Alright, cool. Oh, dodge... Oh my goodness, I... Okay. Dog... What? Huh? Okay, I... Sleep's not gonna work. They don't stay asleep for long enough. Embarrassing. But using magic to take out one really would be a good idea. But I think... I'm actually pretty good poised, so if I... Hmm. with this, I should be okay. Mm -hmm. Well, alright. We need to pop another rune arc. Okay. It cannot afford to go for silly cheese like that. It's simply not an option right now. The killer goes down. Okay. Should be fine. We'll just throw it again, go on the bridge. Take these poor guys out. Actually, just run past, but... Oh, I don't think they actually have a... Oh, come on. Hmm. I don't think they have... A fog wall. No matter what. Okay. One. Two. Thanks. Cool. And I... Mmm. And... Gonna fall off or what? One. Two. Three. Four. And cool. Alright. And just take this and hit, hit before you disappear. Cool. Not that back, which is good, but... <laughs> kind of annoying. And quite frankly, I should just use... For one, let's use Frenzy Burst. Then... I gotta figure out where all the dogs are so I can take them out early before the Omen Killer shows up. Thank you. Anyone else? Where? Where are the remaining dogs? I don't quite see them. Right there, okay. Fine. Kill those dogs and. Poor them, maybe. Eh. Should have chosen a better master. Nefeli quote. Okay, cool. Hi. And... Just jump and... Mmm. Okay. Get in here. Oh, but we could use... Oh, but that won't help me. It's not getting me any more strength is a thing. Wait. Mmm. Can I... Slam and... Can I do that again? And slam and... Alright, cool. And can I... Thanks. Oh, well, I, never mind. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Dodge. And, uh, if I want to use Misericord, I cannot use Royal Nuts Resolve. 
That's a struggle. Okay. Do oh. Dodge it. Okay. Thanks. I okay. But the fire that keeps going is very not fun. Okay, Omen Killer. Thank you. I okay. Dodge. Uh, stupid. Alright, and... Okay, cool. Dodge. What? How can I... You're kidding. Stupid. What in the... What the hell? I just... I need a Lion's Claw for this. Honestly, I just... I just want to take a Lion's Claw. I... Hmm... Mm-hmm. Take that. And then... This would be good. And that would be much better. Okay. I just... It's something. It's something. Well, to be fair, I... Unless I specifically need a... An incantation that I can't, or a spell that I can't get access to otherwise. I don't need to be using the rune arcs. I should save them for when I really need them for an extra boost. It's whatever. But still. And will this hit? That'll connect. Okay. Cool. Use our flask. Kill that killer. Fun. Okay, just dodge. Okay, all right. Hmm. Okay then. I right. dodge, 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 and can I slam? Thanks and slam. Thanks and there we go. Cool and just switch and repulse. You recover very quickly. Cool. Well, that was not too much trouble, but I need to can I slam and there we go. Cool. Foul foot. Okay. I made that harder for myself than it had to be. Alright, Crucible not Talisman. It, but it is a Talisman. Bony Knot embodies the aspect of various creatures set up and run in the human body long ago. Damage and impact of headshots taken. Vestige of the Crucible of Primordial Life, born partially of devolution. Sort of a signifier of the in ancient times. Increasingly disdained as impurity as civilization has advanced. But I can actually use the horse in here still. Fun. That. Can I. Wait. Wire ahead. So there's nothing down there other than just a drop to my death. Oh, there's another dog. Classic. Okay, cool. And just... Oh, come on. Okay, cool. And that... Deal Slash. Huh. Didn't think it'd be able to. Let's just put our Starlight up and... Nefeli should comment on... The perpetrator of this massacre will lead to some other fun. I'm not noon ahead. What does that mean? Here there should be something. Hello. A rune. Oh, okay. Well, we got that back, I guess. To a jumping off. No. So we go back to the start of the village and tell Nefeli what happens? Sure. Well, you know, we beat the boss in here. That's good. And actually, if we're going to be fighting Ensha, I probably want to put my buckler back on. Should be good. I can afford to wear more armor now. That is true. Yeah. Wow. That... Hmm. The hood is... Uh, hood looks stupid. All of these look kind of stupid. Quite frankly. You know what? We'll go with a headband. Sure. Why not? This should be... Be able to talk to Nefeli now. And, wait, did she... Huh? Oh, okay, so... Wait. Did I overshoot, or... Yeah, presumably I overshot, so... And is she over here, or... Presumably she would move to location of the Omen Killer after a reset, but... 
It's not appear like that exactly happened. We'll check. Very least, it does not appear like we can see her right now, so... Presumably she'll be over there. We can talk to her, progress the quest line. Go back to the hold. Kill Ensha in self-defense, of course. Then yeah, we'll be good. That will be all for today. Where is our favorite friend? And that won't damage me. And then, oh well, the dogs are back. Fun. That is always great. Okay. Let's see what the what Hound Spang does against actual hounds. Can I? Thanks, thank you. So where does she move to now? She's not over in here. Exactly. And I. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Okay, one, two, uh, two, dodge, two, okay. And then, where is she? Where is she? Not here. Not where? I, hmm. The Philly Lou. As opposed to Susie Lou Who. Well, maybe she's up top there. It's an it's a possibility. Probably not. Okay. Can I? I mean, Cindy Woo, Cindy Woo. It's Cindy Woo. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a fake Dr. Seuss fan. I'm sure that people are gonna be really really disappointed to find that out. Where does the Philly move? <laughs> Let me just check. Nefeli Wu location. Nefeli Wu and then Oh oh she'll return to the round round table hold. Basically the NPC gal that we saw at the start. I was looking for her. So next time we go back to round table, we're gonna get invaded by Ensha, so let's be ready. Oh, and it's all dark! Yay! Okay, cool. Then we... Our armament. Oh, there he is. What a guy. I take that thing from us, so... Let's not let that happen. And then we... Oh, well, alright. Can I... I do not want that. Uh, okay, cool. Oh my goodness, I... How am I stuck on that? I, I swear, okay. Like, oh, but I didn't... So we teleport without resting it outside of grace and... I... Thanks, and thanks. Oh, nice, there we go, and stab. Nice, good. Yeah, basically, and can we... Thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, okay, cool. Mm, not great. Not... Thanks, there we go, and kill. There we are, no more answer. Okay, be more predictive. Great enemy failed. Great enemy failed. Okay, well... Now the light returns. Okay. Got the clinging bone. Apparently any runes. Hardened skeletal arm. Horrific weapon. Wielded by Ensha. The royal remains. Fitting by placing one's hands in the fist grips until they dig in. A clinging creature. A king relinquishes not the hand. So fist master guard controlling vital energies. We actually got the Ash of War from that over in Kaelid some time ago. So controlled punch, energy infused fist, renders foes unconscious and steals HP, only effective against foes of human build. Well, alright. So, well. He's dead. Roll remains set. And that he was using gravity sorceries, which is interesting. Hard to tell where he would have been from. Greaves gained grace of gold, human bones, uh, bones unspeaking adherent of Sergating the All-Knowing. Slowly replenishes HP when HP is low. Bones belong to an ancient Lord Solus King, Lord of the Lost and Desperate, who was known as Ensha. So presumably, Ensha would be a pseudonym and not actually his real name. Hello. What is it about Ensha? Nasty business. Got rather ahead of himself, it seems. I'd like to express my regret. Slain and gone. Finish forevermore. I have apology. Tender some advice. Have the Seer Medallion. I'll bend over Gorman. What's the last year of ruins? Chuck from Leonia's Link. She's the counterpart, I'm sure, but it won't be until nearly endgame that we can get it. Secret medallions. 
Nurk woman, Glasgow ruins. Waskier. Not Waskier, but Waskier. Interesting. We could get one more Runok and actually we could offer some bell bearings. We may as well. Now they'll start selling meat and bones. Great. Okay. So it's kind of like the Shrine Handmaid in Dark Souls 3 in that dead merchants can give stuff they drop to another merchant and they'll sell their stuff again, but the Feli should be somewhere over here and start doubting her father. I actually cast Starlight in here because it's not an offensive spell, but it must be somewhere around... Yep, right here. Ah, you, please. Mm. Maybe it's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to... Because it was Gideon, her father. Quote unquote. Ah, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. So eventually, she will... We might have to reset the area, but... Eventually she'll go to... We can make her the Queen of Limgrave, basically. As befits her. Honestly, honestly... You might, you might shoot me for saying this. She looks a bit like Katy Perry. Okay. Keep on going. Okay, nothing yet. Okay. Just see real quick. Fell be woo. And that. Approaching and then Father's Orders. Aldrick the Grafted. Sign. Celia Vis's Potion. Glass Kitty and Ofnir. Don't eat her. Did not take the potion, but you need the post, presumably. Give her the Stormhawk King's ashes. Word of Wimgrave, looking for a fitting lord, and you have to beat the mid-game boss. Okay. Okay, cool. Hmm. Throne room. Okay. Hmm. Well, in that case... You know, I'm not her biggest fan, but I'll stand up. I will. I'll vouch for Katy Perry. I'll stand up for Katy Perry. But one way or the other, we got a good amount done. The only things left really would be the Alaska ruins, which I think are around here. It's okay, probably around this area, but. The only things really left would be the lake itself, area up here which is mostly just Caria Manor, then this dungeon might take some time, we'll see. And then the actual dungeon. And then I think there is nothing wrong with Katy Perry. I will defend the honor. Her honor is a musician. She's a legitimately Generally good musician. I don't know what you thought I meant, but I'm sure you were... I don't know what you assumed, but it was not good, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Well. Alright then. Guess my mind has changed. Well, either way, it's, it's a good place to stop. Before we have to talk a bit more about Katy Perry. Thank you to everyone. This was... Got a good deal done. So I don't know again. See you around.